everyone ready for another exciting episode of the Rock Gods? We're not corporate. We're Wait, anarchists. Wait. Huh? I, I got distracted. Froggy started to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Stop everybody. It. Stop wait, it. I'm wait, again, I'm the only one no, who did okay. it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ruined it. I'm sorry I ruined it. Wait, do it again. Nah. No, we're already here no, now. I already did over. the same transition. You ruined it, Froggy. No. Imagine messing fault. up the intro. Yeah. It's really fucked Froggy, up. Froggy, how could you betray me like this? I could believe that Froggy hey, would fuck up the intro. Every five, every five gets its subs, I minus an HP on Froggy's character. <gasps> no! No, no, no. Oh, do yeah. not do it. Do not do it, please. Okay, hold on. We just yeah. no 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 Game no. Master's what? honor. I will do it. I like No, this. okay. If you're gonna add a mechanic that damages me, you need to add a mechanic. What the That's fuck? one HP They're already doing it! You need to add a mechanic that heals me. You need to add a mechanic that heals me. Stop. That's <laughs> 20. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. No, I'm actually dead. Every, count no this. every no every That's five. That's thirty sub. HP. It's, I'm dead. I no, have ten no, HP. No, it's left. every five. It's every five. Yeah. It's one. Oh, you every five oh, is one. You illiterate fucking muppet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I have dyslexia in my ears. I. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to grab you and shake you and hope that by rattling your brain around in your skull, it makes something reconnect. My dad tried that when I was a baby. It explains it a lot. <laughs> you just have to explain every process. time you you sit down. We hear in your head. It's like marbles in a fucking wine glass. Yeah. But of course, but of course, to so everyone can explain who they are and if they can remember their names. Let's bring let's introduce everybody who bring you this amazing show today. Starting off with Minerva. Who am I? Huh. <laughs> She's gotten two into, two into character. The dementia has set in. <laughs> oh, oh God! Great. Oh, you're you're all so lovely. You're such nice young Are people. Are you Jimmy from church? <laughs> all right, Granny. Time to get you back inside. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Minerva, aka Party Demoness, on all social media platforms. I play the level seven Noel Ranger Gray Crocus. And then, of course, we have our ghostly visage, Cabal. Hello, my name is Cabal. I'm a horror YouTuber over on, well, YouTube. Um, and I am playing the uh, Ghost Magus of the Sparkling Targe Discipline. Is it Discipline? I forget. Uh, anyways, Talim Shabura, who's also level 7. And remember to watch Cabal soon over his video at youtube.com forward slash Cabal. Be sure to sub there. And then, of course, we have our resident little guy. Hi, I'm Small. I'm also Froggy Lock, and I'm a professional artist and live 2D rigger and a variety streamer here on Twitch. But you can find me on all sorts of other social media platforms under the exact same handle. Uh, today, I will be playing Beetlezebub, the level 7 kobold investigator. I'm not an avatar of ADHD. <laughs> no, you absolutely are. They nailed that one. You didn't put that in the intro. Yep. <laughs> hey, look, I just noticed I have three hero points. Hey, look at that. Oh, we'll see how that lasts. Hey, thanks for trying to give the shot. Just like, how many more? Four more? So you minus yourself eight HP. Um, now, of course, we have our absolute beauty, beauty of the North, Salty John. That's me. I'm Snotty Snub. Uh, you can find me at Salty Job at Twitter, uh, but you can also support me by supporting Cabal and Soren here at Narrative Declaration. Uh, as I do funny art for them. I am playing Heart, uh, the level 7 kineticist. Ah, Staring at you. So I cool. thought there would be more. <laughs> it's like, it's you're like, so no. cool, Shalty. You're like, Shalty is so fucking cool. Shalty does a bunch of amazing art, which of course you can get in like, a lot of our thumbnail art, which I need to get uploaded this month for uh, on Patreon and stuff like that. Remember, if you oh, really hmm. want to help out the show and stuff, and if you're listening to podcasts and stuff, there are podcast versions on YouTube. If you prefer listening to stuff on YouTube or YouTube music and stuff, uh, of course, we do have podcast versions and stuff. I think the Rock Rains one got messed up a bit with the Google podcast. I think it like merged with the Rock Rain feed. I, you know, Google mm. going like, hey, can we fix this? And they're like, <laughs> at me. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> oh, so, speaking of, speaking that's of why that's messed up. Art. Speaking of Patreon and art, Soren. 
uh, which tier is the tier that gained all of the live art things from rot goods as art pieces to display like on your on your desktop for your, a dollar. For your computer yeah one dollar so one for one dollar you can go and get the wallpaper art for uh rock grind raccoon stuff like that whenever you ever get it uploaded and also for one dollar which this is going to be uploaded uh later on in the month probably here in a couple days uh these gooners along with our good old friend Mandakish, who helps mod yes. stuff every so often uh will be joining us for kingmaker campaign so if you ever want to watch us play pathfinder second editions kingmaker using the foundry module and stuff uh thurston will be game mastering it i'll be playing with everybody here along with our friend Maticus. Uh, it might be a big group, but it's been fucking funny every time yeah. <laughs> we do a yeah. test session. It has been an absolute riot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Super funny. <laughs> but that'll be a Patreon exclusive campaign. So if you've ever been interested in something like that, the test sessions are only $1 right now uh, on the Patreon. And then whenever the campaign begins, it'll be on the $5 tier. But of course, a new test session will be, will be uploaded soon. So stay tuned for that. But of course, if you really want to help out things, of course, we obviously have the Patreon. And of course, subbing really helps out on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh, I think we just need to go like a little bit harder and stuff on the subs so we can get our partner plus stuff so we can. So all the money instead of 50 50 split, it goes more to us on Twitch, which is yippee. And, um, and additionally, if you also want to help us directly and also influence the game, we all have well, that's a voice crack. <laughs> <The guy. laughs> <laughs> That uh, we have these bit bars. <laughs> we have these hero point bars or bit bars down below each of our names here. Every single time you do a bit donation and you include the character name, uh, you can apply to the polls. So everyone can donate into it. And then you can give the player a hero point that allows them to reroll stuff, try to help them out in a fight, things like that. And of course, a little bit of it goes to me, which is the venom point that I get to use to screw them over, which I might be using here in a little bit. Oh, Can you no. use a villain point to give me some HP back? <laughs> I'll do the okay. opposite. Hear me out. Uh, if we have a mechanic in place that lets people damage me, I need to also be able to heal or my character is actually going to die because everyone wants me to die. <laughs> Hey, Froggy. Yeah. Explodes you with my mind. No! Oh, please! Bye, Froggy. Why do you want to kill my character so bad? Because he was the one that died the funniest way. What? Getting it, shot is not funny! I mean, it's more funny than falling. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you did just get executed in the head. <laughs> <laughs> getting gun, shot point blank is way, way more You got by the better. crocodile man mob. Like, it, it is got whacked. That's it true. is the way of the street. It is the way of the street. That's true. So, for time and things, um, who wants to do a very brief, I'm talking like really condensed, not super long recap and earn a hero point today? Or earn a hero point cap. for someone else? Cab. Huh? <laughs> what? You remember what happened last episode? <laughs> I have no idea. I've been sick for a week and I'm still getting over it. Yeah, he's very sick, guy. <laughs> I mean, do you I'm gonna be a hundred with you while you guys have talking. I've mentally alt tabbed like five times. Oh, oh buddy! I keep coming back trying to keep track of the conversation. It's not working. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, Talit's a ghost, <laughs> so you know he's barely tethered to this world anyway. So it, it fits. It's, it's in character. True. I can try. My memory is very spotty because it happened a little while ago. Yeah, it has. Um, we had to miss like two episodes. So yeah, please we've, forgive we've been us, gone chat. for a few weeks. Yeah. Um, if I remember correctly, this was the last episode we did, which was you fell down the hole. We fell mm -hmm. down the hole. It can be very brief, but we, the, some, some weird mind stuff happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we fell down the hole. We effectively died. That yes. was fun. Yes. Uh, Beetle woke up in a theater, had a totally lovely conversation with definitely Croc. Definitely Croc. Hey, definitely not, uh, you know. Definitely not the entity thing. Yeah. Uh, definitely not. Uh, they had a long conversation about what's going on, where things are going. A deal was struck. 
and Beetle proceeded to essentially explore the theater of the mind, so to speak. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> uh, would find the other gooners in their own respective little mind jails. They were basically going through memories of the past, their biggest regrets even. Uh, they found Talim, they found Hart, eventually they found Grey, each of them seeing their biggest regrets, and a lot of it was very heart-wrenching. You'd have to be there. You'd have to be there, chat. Hmm. And you can see it happen physically. I know. Yeah, you can see it physically over it. Oh, you never mind. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just go to the narrative declaration YouTube. Oh my and watch god! Oh my god! You could do that. Or watch it live right now. <laughs> right now. Uh, they would wake up, and they would all kind of huddle up. There was a group hug that happened, and uh, they start making their way through the caves. They meet a little funny plant creature. Uh, they tried to communicate with it, and uh, it, it went as well as expected. It found their treasure chest and then started running off with it, and they, it went in a direction they could not follow, so they'd take the long way around. There was lots of gaps, lots of holes, and awful, awful creatures that were trying to steal their stuff. Just awful, ugly, little, little, slimy long dudes centipede <laughs> centipede dudes but made of flesh but made of flesh <laughs> flesh centipede it was awful human centipede human no. centipede <laughs> and Only the lady not to feed <laughs> i'm going to bite people <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but they eventually did defeat the centipedes. They did get their stuff back, which was kind of grabbed from them by the awful centipede duders. And they eventually made their way around, only to see their new little plant buddy getting chased by the corpse, or what's left of the corpse, of the undead behemoth they were dealing with earlier. Yippee! You get a hero Yippee. point! I, uh, yay! That was the most sloppy summary ever. <laughs> yeah, see, it I when it's extra sloppy. <laughs> I, I completely it was, it was a good thing that you did because I completely forgot about the whole like theater bit. <laughs> oh, the most I, dramatic part. Yep. Oh my lord! Speaking Honestly, of, completely forgot about it. I've been trying to forget the theater bit because it was the most dramatic. Part. <laughs> I've been I trying to forget part. the entire campaign. <laughs> I've been trying to fucking forget. Just get rid of it. I love the theater the part. It made me cry. It made me cry too. That's why I'm trying to forget it. Apparently I so. made people cry. I had people in my Discord yelling at me. <laughs> Yours was the worst. You were the worst. Of I hate you. Aw. You made me cry like a little baby back bitch. <laughs> baby back, baby back, baby back, back. <laughs> but speaking of being a baby back bitch. No. It's time. Well, you all less laughed off, but their glorious band of gooners. That's us. <laughs> you saw that the zombie Hulk crawling through the hallway was chasing our small, leafy, leshy fellow who is dragging the chest that you so you all basically were just fighting life and limb for last time before you fell down the hole and the remnants of your enemy still still active just crawling through the cavernous hallway just no oh, i heard that you tell he's past this little exit way to the left down into the hallway of this cavernous area glowing mushrooms and little fairy lights kind of going all around you oh, what do lights. you do well it's not too late for us to turn around and beetle starts to turn around there's no other <laughs> direction to go I, we don't know that for sure i mean we could go back and try and move those rocks 
<sighs> we're not gonna get anywhere with this. And Kray's going to take a step forward to try and get a better look at uh, the direction that the uh, the zombie Hulk went, because I couldn't see on the fucking map. <laughs> As you're trying to see on the fucking map, you see that the zombie Hulk has gotten stuck. As to where it is, even with its immense bulk, has been trying to get to the entryway or so. And you see he got turned around and he's facing all of you. But that's what you can see around uh. the corner. But you see he's just struggling, just just trying to get free. Like, <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna kinda take like just a, a long stare, a quiet blink, and just step back and just go, so he's there. Uh-huh. Um, He's, um, a little stuck. Uh, um, here, here take, c come here, come here, c come take a look at this. Those are Beetle's little feet. Gray, Gray will, like, pick up Beetle and, like, slowly, <laughs> like, hold him up past the, uh, the wall so he can peek out at a higher altitude. Oh, he's like, he's like, he sees the big flesh hulk and he's like, pull me back in, pull me back in, pull me back in. <laughs> pull me down, pull me down, pull me back in. She does it, she does it, she does it. <laughs> um, so we want to go the way that he is, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, I think uh, so. Uh, uh, Unless we intend to give up on what we've been trying to accomplish this entire time. Yeah, we have to deal with this. Uh, it would be a waste otherwise. Come on. Girl, stop blocking the uh, the doorway here. As you begin to uh, walk forward at the sight of the zombie, we'll start off with Beetle for this. We don't just begin to walk forward. You feel like you ever you ever had like at the most horrible stomach pain possible. Like you just know like something you ate before just wrecking the insides of your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think mm -hmm. of that just like not ju not only in the gut area, but everywhere else mm. around mm -hmm. you as you feel sick. You feel horrible. You feel just absolutely disgusting like just something about you just and and you find in your character may either cough or something else just expelling something and as if you would even look at your hand or the remnants of it wherever it is it is blackened it is gooey it is horrible if you didn't already do it did the chat's influence to minus those hp Go ahead and do so now if you haven't already. I think you're already at like 40 I something. Subtract, so you already I subtracted eight. Was that correct? That's, or that's or absolutely more? correct. Okay. And you are rotten one. No! Chat. Every single time you do five gifted subs in the, in the chat, either on YouTube side or Twitch side, they will take a point of rot damage. What the fuck? Uh, this is pretty fucked up. Huh? That's a bit. That's a bit mean. Why? why <laughs> oh would you my do that, god! Karen? It's not me. Woo! Let's go. Talim, since you spoke up. God damn it! You notice inside of your ghostly visage that you've experienced this before. Before Curtinan helped get rid of it for you, you feel that same sickly just otherworldly feeling embed itself into your soul God you see it. slight remnants of it black tendrils along along your uh, ectoplasm take one points of damage as you are now rotten one two now okay <laughs> <laughs> okay well actually hold on wait a second I have damage reduction one versus everything except for ghost tor uh, ghost touch, uh, vitality, or force. Oh! The rot consumes all. Take oh. your damage. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the uh. rot consumes all. But of course, now for Gray at the sight of the zombie as well, and for you, Heart, 
to summarize it, you too also feel sickly and just everything wrong in your insides. Yeah. You two are also rotten one. There's a, oh. Don't worry about the debuff. Basically, for those of you who uh, don't know mechanically what, the, what that means, you're all permanently wounded one. I would apply it to you, but it'll do like a special effect thing, so we just won't worry about that right now. Okay. So, so for every listener at home, that, me that means that we die easier. Yes. So okay. if they go down, don't go down and stuff, it's, but well, it makes it a chunk easier to be permanently dead. But of course you all see this zombie Hulk in front of you and it starts trying to like, like, you know, you immediately like throws a hand out and tries to grab it to the ground, pull to you, but see it, it stuck ah. itself pretty good. And, uh, it, it seems the struggle there. It's just basically just yelling at you down this hallway. It's just feeling the halls are just it seemed horribly pissed off what do you do we need to go that way yeah how do we make it stop what do we do about that thing i mean the obvious answer is killing it but it's already dead and we thought we killed it before. How much is this going to take? Maybe if you take its head off? Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, because your head kind of like pilots everything else, right? Yeah. So, uh, he reaches over and he pats the back of Talib's leg. Go get him, Mr. Mr. Sword. Use your sword. Go cut that head off. You got the sword. It's your job. You can go do it. And get the get the head off with the sword. <clears throat> believe in you, buddy. Yeah, telling you, I believe in you. You can do it. Hard to give us a thumbs up. <laughs> it's like everyone's pointing at the cockroach. Tling, kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help. Are you muted, Cabal? Kev, are you dead? Oh, no, I was muted because I was coughing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The rock persists so, in real like, life. So as like Beetle passes a hand through the back of Talim's calf and he looks down like, really? Um, <laughs> and like looks at all of them, looks down at his sword, looks up at the reach of the zombie uh, behemoth Hulk, whatever <laughs> it is. And he's like, go cut his head off, yes? I I'll think help. so. I think I have a better solution. And he snaps his fingers and a little ball of fire uh, produces an hand. And I cast ignition from 30 feet out instead oh. of, I don't know, running to the grasp of a zombie Hulk. <laughs> if it starts coming this way, I can I can probably do something. One last time for Talim. What are you trying to do at the end? I'm casting ignition. Let's see it. Go and do an attack roll at him. Okie dokie. He's in the kitchen with the ignition. R, can we? And. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, you got two different things now for melee and stuff. I think that's to help with your. Uh, your magus abilities. And there we go. That is plus 13 on the roll. And I roll a 25 in total for a hit. Very good. And I roll damage. Which is... You see this thing just... Finding the damage. Woo! The Rawr! sound effect jump scared me! <laughs> you gotta remember the... We got the audio stuff. You might want to adjust yourself. But of course, after yeah! you fire it... I'll use that as your initiative roll, Talim. As oh, I ask oh, everyone okay. to roll initiative, Talim, you don't have to because yours will be 25. Oh, shit. I don't Can know. Can I that's good. add my pursue a lead modifier to my initiative roll? Sure, I'll let it happen. Yippee! Because he's in the way of my pursuing of a lead. <laughs> I, rolled, I rolled an 18 for a total of 29. And I rolled also a total of 29. I rolled a total of 34. Oh, God, man. <laughs> Picking this dice thing so for you, pissed. but don't worry about it. Because you will be... 
will be up there. Awesome. Well, that's why my damage fell a little bit more low. I rolled three ones on those D fours. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like eight. I was like, okay. <laughs> of course, the Hulk will start taking the fire down and just like, nah, nah, and you'll see that it's trying to wiggle itself free. Just anger that you're burning it. Beetle, it is your turn. Uh, yeah, I, I thought you were going to go up and cut off his head. T Talim looks down at Beetle is like, perhaps I should give you a sword and you and go try to cut this head off. Yes. No, that's okay. And Beetle's going to take out his Giselle and uh, he's going to aim for the Hulk's head. We're going to devise a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're gonna see what happens if we aim and... You feel like you'd hit? I feel like I'd hit, so I'm gonna take a little shot at his head. Uh, let me make sure everything is checked off. Yes. Wow! 11 points of damage! Just like another hole just, just rips through his riding corpse. It's like... <laughs> no. I want you to know, Zorin, the way that you said that reminded me of a YouTube short I saw recently. It's, uh, and it was like, oh, the Wizard King will judge this guy. And it's like, what is the Wizard King's judgment? It's like, bear, bear. It's like, oh, oh I remember bear, that. Bear. Yeah, yeah, bear, bear. <laughs> bear, bear. What do you say? <laughs> 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 <Just cast the fireball. laughs> I'm like, that's just boring. So, <laughs> so that was the divide the stratagem and then fire. I think there was two actions. You got one action left. You want to reload? I'm reloading. All right, Hart. Uh, Hart will smack his hands together and cross all of his fingers together. And he tries to focus and he realizes oh God, that domain expansion he can't do anything properly with just two hands he needs to focus more energy in some way uh so multiple small hands in his kinetic aura just starts to appear to form the same appearance i wish to cancel out my kinetic aura by casting jagged berms jagged berms is my one sure hit kill combo attack. Uh, uh, it is. It deals no damage at all on its own. But what I now get to do is that I get to place six little bits and pieces, six little berms with jagged, sp pointy spikes sticking out of it. Uh, it's it's basically just environmental things. If you pass through or next to one of these, you take 2d6 piercing damage, no save. They can't be destroyed, but they are basically a little mound of earth with wood poking out of them. Yeah. Uh, because Gorilla Tactics oh is God. the winning way. Splinters. Yeah, it's the Gorilla Tactics is the winning way. Um, so I wish to perform this ability. However, uh, <clears throat> Foundry does not really like me doing this from uh, <laughs> from what it seems. You're trying to make six uh, cubes, so you're basically just doing six, six small places. cubes. Yes. Yeah, so, so I, I would uh, like to make one here. Yeah. So basically, you just make a simple little square if it wants to. <laughs> I see where yeah. it won't just make a square. Yeah. We can just do that. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. One there. One there. Y okay. Just like a a. a just like just a carpet. You want to make a make line. A tunnel. Make okay. a tunnel. Okay. It's a tunnel of three on one this, side and three on the other. Doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if this guy travels, whenever this guy travels Whoa. next to one of these, that's 2d6. And they Ooh. do stack. Oh! So okay. That's the heart okay. Uh, and they appear like uh, statues of heart. Okay, smarty. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my turn. <laughs> I love it when we play tower defense in Pathfinder. Uh, I know, uh, right? Uh, it's such I a good, to, it's good. I love that I for want, us. I wanted to make sure I'm proud by making the, the orc huts from Warcraft 3. 
Huh. <laughs> I can't wait for when uh, Salty gets summoned Cannon Tower or summon Freezing Tower. That's right. It is Gray's turn. <laughs> uh, how? Uh, the physical description of this big duder like what like where, where what is he looking like he's besides, cut in you know, half gross <laughs> okay and he is a riding Excellent. giant corpse who wants to eat your bones okay i was hoping for like oh his arms are fucked up or oh is it no, no it's fine she's gonna fucking he got no legs he got no legs lieutenant, lieutenant dan <laughs> <laughs> uh gonna declare him uh her haunted prey she's going to Scoot forward in front of heart. Boop, boop. You don't want to go there. I'm not. Wait, wait, I'm not going to go go step on them. I'm not. Step, I'm just going here. If you if you go next to them. OK, well, where was I before here? Yeah, here. OK, fine. That's fine. Yeah, it's our first time I'm, where we've ever had a, a an had, had environmental throw, traps. Yeah, yeah. Throw traps so down even on the floor. if you just go next to them. Yep. 2d6 for each one. Oh, oh that's icky. Okay, yep. well, uh, Green's going to throw her mom Bele, hoping to uh, blind him. Heck yeah. I just. <laughs> I imagine, like, I step forward. Oh, nice. Jesus. I crit. with a total of 29. I'm going to roll for that, that crit damage. Let's mm, tasty. See it. Tasty. Sure. Great try. The total of forward. 23. That's way it's better than stepping forward into a tiger pit. That's way I know. <laughs> you basically you are carving through him. You feel that your attacks Holy are extremely shit. efficient. You do 33 damage instead. Heck yeah. I Ooh. asked the wrong person to cut off his head. Ah. And then I got one more, I believe. Yes, yes. One more. Uh, since, you don't actions, have to, we're gonna... since you don't have to reload it, right? Yeah, like I don't have to re reload my so knife. So you already you already marked it as prey, so you got one more left. Yeah, we're gonna go at it again. She's gonna try and swing again as soon as she catches it, trying to use that momentum. Got a hit. Hit with a total of twenty six. Gonna roll for that damage. Damage. A total of nine. It's highly yeah. effective. No. <laughs> <laughs> You see this thing just trying to bat it away, but you're too skillful with it, with your rune of returning. You're just going to swim and bring it right swim. back. That's it for me. That's all three. Talim, it is yes. your turn. Um, uh, I, I, I spent two actions to cast ignition at it again. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Daniel. Yeah, I'm not g getting into melee with that. Hell no. <laughs> Even if I do have passive healing, that's silly. And I miss. <laughs> I'm so impressed by the axes that the, the Talim is just like, he's like, yeah, this, ah, they'll be fine. You do <laughs> have two hero points. Yeah. Smiles. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Um, yeah. I'll, I'll just use the uh, last of my actions to, I don't know, raise my shield. Take care. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talib kind of just went, well, shit. It is now its turn. I'm it looks, in case it gets to the front line. It looks at the things you've placed down hard. Yeah, my statue's of me. And <laughs> it, uh, it was just, <laughs> I hate little spiky things. And it basically starts mailing them, trying to just basically yeah. crush the nearest one. Yeah. They it, have AC 10. It, it absolutely crits. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Smashes down to it because they all have a hardness of 10, if I remember. They uh, do. Fucking annihilates the one right by it, and it'll do it to the other one. Heck yeah. It'll do normal damage on the other one. It only hits it for a 17, but it's AC 10. Decimates the other one. You see, it's just going through it, but because it is a zombie, it is slowed, so it can't do I any I more. Love I love the mechanical balance of zombies being OP, but they only have two actions each turn. Beetle, it is your turn. You see this thing starting to make way. You see it's loosening loosen out of the pit that it's in, 
and uh, just crushing all these like stone hearts that have been erupted onto the ground, just making way to you closer and closer. What do you do? Guys, 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 it's coming, guys, guys! And he's gonna devise a stratagem. And he knows that he is going to miss, so. <laughs> In fact, going... that'd be a crit fail. That would, he's like, nope, can't get a good shot with my Giselle while he's thrashing around. So let me uh, put my Giselle away. Because it's a, then... cause it's a uh, investigator thing. We won't, we can't apply the complication to it because you technically aren't doing it. So yeah. yeah. I'm putting the Giselle away, and so is device a stratagem in itself an action, or is that like not a combo when it's with against your thing? target? Not when it's against your uh, the thing you're tracking. So if I device a stratagem, two. put my Giselle away, pull out my crossbow, will I have another round to shoot my crossbow? Dropping or is that your, the third round. Uh, attacking that target in of itself, no matter what you will attack, will get that result. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Because you have to do it for that attack. Oh. So you you're not attacking. It's I'm not attacking then. then. Yeah. Okay. You, you um, have all your healing abilities. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next. Yeah, you you're can right. My medicine. health is going down. Uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do battle medicine on my Schmelf. <laughs> Schmelf. So. Him. To make it nice and easy for you, uh, there is the battle medicine action you have there. Mm -hmm. So go on that, click treat wounds. When you click that, you can scroll all the way down. You'll see a little treat wounds, little button thing there. Click that and it will give you a prompt to do your medicine check and all that. <gasps> That's so nice. So you can target yourself and then click it and it'll do all the math for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so nice. Apply healing. Yeah, you wow. are you are a uh, master at medicine, so you should have done the master toggle for it for the oh. DC if you wanted. Mm -hmm. So master you can get toggle. like extra stuff. So next time when you click the tree oh, wounds thing I there, see. there you go. Yeah, try I doing that. It. Okay, let me take out that eight HP that I just healed. Let me take that out. There you Back go. To Thirty-two. And okay. you got a natural twenty on the die. Holy so you dance. healed for fifty-seven with your battle medicine, and Thank that you for and battle medicine is one <laughs> action. I'm putting this treat wounds thing on my hot bar so I can get to it faster in the future. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Keep, can we get a clip from that and then show that to anyone whenever you go, oh yeah, dude, non-magical healers aren't that good. Uh, <laughs> well. Uh, plus 40 is, wow. It's cause he's a master. I, it's yeah, only cause he's still, a master. Like, getting master of skill ain't that difficult. No, nope. so levels. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Let me think. Uh, we had the device strategy and put my weapon away. Uh, yeah. Heal. So, uh, you're you're good on device strategy because it's your target and stuff like that. So, yeah. free action to drop your weapon. So you have all three reactions. If you want to pull out your crossbow, that's one action. I can I do battle medicine on heart for my last turn? Yes. Woohoo! Yeah, battle okay. medicine is one action, so you can just do so target heart and do your uh, yep. roll thing. Wait, get the band-aids and the aloe vera. There we go. You can apply that healing heart. Yeah, that's 52. So I'll get it. That's so much fucking healing. Oh, there we go. With 52. Wow. Great job. That's my, that's my turn. Thank you so much for teaching me that. I got it on my heart bar now, so I can go really fast. No problem. Oh, yeah. That's what Felmera has to do to all of you. <laughs> Did all that. That's in the Kingmaker campaign. Go watch it. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, become a patron. With that, heart is your go. Yeah. And a yeah. question for you, a little alien ass. Yep. Are all the statues as heart, uh, like double pointing to himself? Uh, no, it's a heart doing different poses and then just spikes sticking out from different certain <laughs> angles. It's all a bunch of Greek statues of him posing. Uh, speaking You're just of. Just a pillar man. Speaking of posing, uh, heart will strike a pose as he activates his kinetic aura. Uh, and. As I now am channeling the elements, uh, I wub, wub. am wub wub. Uh, I am now in my elemental aura, wub, wub. and as as a part of that, I will activate my stone armor because I can use one kinetic funny whenever I uh, whenever I enter my little thingy. So I get uh, a plus five to my AC. 
It's fucking crazy. Uh, and then Hart will target this big guy and he will pick up a rock. He picks uh, up a rock. He picks up a rock. <laughs> um, he picks up a funny little rock and uh, he, um, he just flings it at this guy. Uh, as a part of doing that, uh, I get to use a very fun little thing uh, called... Where are you? There you are. Uh, weapon Infusion. Weapon Infusion allows me to change the damage type of any of my elemental blasts. That's my basic attack. Uh, into slashing, piercing, or bludgeoning by changing how it looks. Uh, so Hart will make one elemental blast against this duder. Uh, let's see here. No, not the rock. Dead. That's right, baby. The rock. <laughs> Did uh, he just call us a nerd? Uh huh. No, he yeah. said dad. Mm -hmm. Not oh. again. Oh. I throw a rock. You it's hit it with a rock. Green. Let's see here. Okay, so. Uh, due to due to my funnel gimmick, I can then uh, change the damage type of this, uh, and I will change it into do -do 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 -do, uh, into slashing as the small little thing starts spinning, the little rock starts spinning, and it basically turns into a uh, a little a little disc of uh, of polished, sharpened rock that just starts flying towards this guy. He's... Feels pretty nice damage. Feels damage. Feels pretty damage. Uh, no, uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, supposedly. Yeah, bludgeoning. Let's go with that. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> just smacks right to his side. Just like, just... Old blood just congealing down his face. Uh, uh, bleh. I can throw rocks now. Hell yeah. Good Is the job. end of your turn? Yeah. Gray. Gray can't do... She wants to get in there, but she can't because the ground is covered in sharp, pointy things like Legos. So she's going to keep using her momentum uh, and just throwing the mumbele over and over again like an awful little meat grinder. Yeah. So we're going to go swing. whoop One. Whoop. Sorry. You hit. I hit. The total of 26, we're gonna roll for the damage. Yeah. The total yeah. of 12 damage. She's gonna do it again. Do 22 damage to it. She, here she goes again, reeling back. She misses? You, you miss, I think you don't have it targeted. I did though, interesting. It I untargets it did. at the end of the stuff, so it's not gonna keep it on. Oh, that's annoying, okay. Yeah, I do that because people forget to untarget. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. She missed on that one. She's going to... One more time. One more time. She hopes and prays. She whiffs it. Another doesn't miss. make it. Oh. It's okay. She got that one hit in. She's satisfied. Is <laughs> <laughs> the zombie screams at you all. Talim. Yes. All right. So, um... Uh... Question for needle darts. Do I actually need a piece of metal to cast it? Or if that's only if I want to add special properties to it? Uh, it's special to properties. Cast it. Uh, it, it, the, uh, let's double check. Shape three needles out of a piece of metal in your possession and send them flying into a tight group towards one target. So technically with your sword, you should be fine. Yeah. They have okay. technically removed like material components for spells and such. All right, so in that case, um, Liam will actually uh, take his uh, sword and just swipe it through the air. And as he does, I will cast uh, needle darts on the uh, on the, the zombie titan Hulk. The nice. Hemis, a, a descriptor of large creature. Big boy. <laughs> Big boy. I'm thick. <laughs> <laughs> He comes after you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, click the first needle darts thing there and you'll be fine. Okie dokie. 
and I will attack and say plus 13 on the roll for a crit. There you go. Roll, roll crit damage. Raise your roll damage. We double. Let's it. go. And um, hit the roll damage button up there. Yeah. I oh in chat. There's no crit button. Just roll the damage. Oh okay. And we double it. So All bam. Right. You do 32 points of damage to it. Nice. And you look at it, Salim, you can tell this thing's hanging on by a thread. You you all have decimated it. It's, it's one arm just basically just kind of twitching. It's still, just still trying to slowly claw into the dirt and pull itself. And it's like, no, no. You see, it just starts to, just pathetically just start crawling towards you all. You have one oh. action left. I do have one action left, but I have nothing for a range attack. So just in case, um, I will raise my shield and I will look at the others. And it's like, I think it's time we finish off this obstacle. Oh, please. I'd like to get out of here. And that is the end of my turn. It'll try to move forward and attack one of Hart's things. It will do so and basically crush it. Heck yeah. Uh, no, It'll do the it for Legos. the next one. And it rolls a natural one. But I have a villain point. I like the idea of every time it smashes one of them, it's just the Lego death sound effect. <laughs> Lego Star Wars, yeah, obviously. <laughs> that's what Hart does whenever he builds them. He has to go... And he, he just puts them all together. It sounds like you're sw you're swirling ice in a cup. The fucking... Uh, the fucking... Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it crushes more of Hart. Just try to come through there. Beetle, it's your turn. Beetle is going to uh, raise his his crossbow, and uh, we're going to devise another stratagem. He who, oh boy, take aim, look down the sight, break his forward jab. What's going to happen? Discombobulate. <laughs> Natural twenty. He knows. Do the Resident he knows Evil. He's going to discombobulate. Do the Resident Evil, Froggy. Those are 16 Six. points of damage and 1d6 point. He's got bleed. He's got bleed on him. He's got persistent bleed. So he takes 1d6 damage in, in persistent bleed. He's it reaches dead. a hand out <laughs> to you, Beetle. Ah. And, go, and goes, no. But if I don't. Oh, and the bolt goes right through the hand. It's just right through its head. Just like an exit wound. Just right through it all. And you Woo! see that the Hulk just just falls right over. Finally expired. What a biohazard. They wouldn't be looking good right now. I'm so oh. glad that thing didn't reach us. Greg <laughs> <laughs> kind of quietly looks at Beetle judgingly. <laughs> Beetle looks up from the puddle of pee. He's standing in. No, I'm just kidding. No! <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't house trained. Why okay. would you make this worse? <laughs> you, you guys want to see if he had anything on him? Uh, I, I, I guess. We got to climb over him to get to our buddy anyway. I mean, True. he's pretty big as it is. I don't know if I can get past there. I think that you could, Beetle, but um, <clears throat> I'm what? gonna... I'm gonna start getting on this. Uh, Heart just picks up a rock, makes the rock sharp, and starts making don't a way. Don't Start carving a flesh path over. through. That's disgusting. Yeah. That's disgusting. That's it's so nasty. You. Stain. Gray's just gonna climb over it. <laughs> after after some time, you make you carve your way, climb over. It's yeah. your way to go through, but um Art doesn't look happy. 
He doesn't oh. like being big at the moment. But with some stuff. Some stuff? Me... Yes, let's do a... Some of you notice. Uh, I think everybody but... But hard. Mm. You notice as you begin to pass by the zombie's corpse that like small little like veiny tendrils on the ground like slowly but surely kind of like start growing out from the fungi like on the ground that basically kind of like lacks itself a little bit on the flesh it's very it's very slow it's quick to kind of get there but as soon as it touches the flesh it just kind of starts you know it kind of stops there a little bit as if messing with it in some way um can I roll uh, occultism? Nature, Which nature would I, be better I for was, this. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was gonna ask if I could roll nature for this. Absolutely, both of you go ahead. Okay, mom, that's a total of thirty. Okay, only enough for clean. Oh, I don't have nature. Okay. Uh, Gray, you, you know that, uh, you don't know exactly what these mushrooms are as much as you've been in the city of outside or so probably delving very deep, uh, into it was probably not a high priority for you, but you can probably tell that other fungi somewhere in the world of time, um, are able to eat people basically, or basically just kind of consume flesh and meat. And you see, that's what's happening here. This thing is oh. now kind of tendrilled out or whatever to be like, Oh, Free meat, a free meal, and it's basically just slurping it up right now. It'll it'll digest as slowly but surely, but uh, you see that I... this is one way to kind of keep random corpses off. When the mushroom starts slurping and glorping. <laughs> I, I would not suggest we be touched by these mushrooms. Um, unless I... you would like to become no longer alive. Uh, I've been picking mushrooms the whole way here. You might want to drop them. What? Just and, in case. But, but, but they don't have little mouths or, or spooky little tendrils, and they're just glowing nice and happy in my bag. And if they keep glowing nice and happy in my bag, then I can use their colors to do things to our bodies. I... Right. I saw it. I okay. saw it in the theater. I saw the magic of the lights on on the stage. I know what the the green and the blue does. I don't does. know what you're talking about. Just don't get touched by these mushrooms, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, okay. I don't know what they are exactly, but I have seen enough flesh-eating plants to know I don't want to get got by these. So do mushrooms we wanna... are not plants. Heart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how somebody in chat just said that <laughs> now Beetle has the mold from Resident Evil 7. I was like, Beetle's no longer Kobold. He is Welcome a cold, to the family. Cold, cold mold. Cold mold. Cold mold. <laughs> Do we, should we just run through really fast? Zorin, would we be able to from, from your, from get your around them? From your nature of three, you're, these aren't coming to get you. <laughs> like yeah. they, these aren't like, going to lash out at you and pull yeah. you in uh, this is something that it's like a it, it's a, you, you know like, like something that rots or so and then yeah it's an overtime over. yeah. slow nature's I mean, garbage scavengers. man yeah. like little like, sca scavenger uh, but they're extra fast you should be fine going through just don't touch any of them and if you do accidentally brush up against something, find something to wash yourself immediately. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, Beetle, tell me something about this light stuff. Uh, as Hart begins walking and he holds out a hand to pick up Beetle. I saw, and Beetle will climb up, I saw the stage of the stage when, when, when I died, when we all died. There were all these bright lights being used on the stage, and I could see you guys up on the stage, and I, I saw that the red light, it it made it made the things warm. It made bodies warm. I felt warm at the red light. So I think yeah. that red lights increase blood flow and, and make your body warmer. 
Yeah, because blood is red, right? Yeah. And well, the, mine's the, not red, but yeah. You, well, you don't really have blood. You kind of, you got like a, like a, you know, a, a, a clay type yeah, stuff. Yeah, icker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I still, I, oh, I wonder what kind of effects the colors would have on you. Yeah. Yeah. Kalina is just yeah. like floating at the back. He's got his shield like casually raised in front of him, like his sword, like hanging at his side, but in his hand. And he's like looking at Beetle the entire time as he's perched on heart. And he's like, what the fuck is his deal? <laughs> I think the colors can be used to strengthen one's life force and your spiritual energy. Gray has 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 completely checked out. <laughs> I, I think the bodily fluids of our bodies can be altered through the application of different colors. Yeah. I can't wait for Bedell's above's essential mushrooms. <laughs> can't believe Beetle fell into a Facebook scheme to charge up your JL yeah, crystals. Yeah, he's like, like, yeah. MLM mushrooms. No. Oh, we're part Frog. Okay. Beetle posting a little thing on the placard in the middle of the city. I need strong people to charge my J off crystal. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Speaking of charging J off crystals, I have no segue. Um, <laughs> after dealing with the zombie Hulk, you begin to delve deeper and deeper through winding passages. You find yourself going, going further down and down and down seeing these glowing mushrooms and all these fungi and stuff kind of on the walls. You see little critters ever so often scatter away as you delve deeper and deeper under the city of Outset. Uh, you now find yourself further down to the cavern where pillars of stone seemingly kind of keep up these various hallways. More fungi, mushrooms are lining the walls, helping light your way. For those of you who have not brought a light source or can't see very well in the dark, helping those with low light vision as well due to the ambient light that they give. Now that you all are here, what are you all doing? And also to kind of ask everybody, what's your exploration activity? Oh my God, we're back to the exploration activities. Uh, uh, Dude, I love exploration uh, activities. Uh, I would say searching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go go ahead and set up your characters and stuff, and I'll show up in the thing. Heck yeah! Mm -hmm. Feel free to look around in the in the browse thing to see. Like, what are you actively doing? Of course, if you're like one of the repeating actions stuff like that, like for you, Talim, you can always like just keep your shield raised. You know, just like just wishing a um, motherfucker would. You know. No. So instead of that, I will actually maintain a spell. Um, Ooh, because I have a new cantrip hmm. that was given to me by my uh, my next um God, what is it the 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 archetype? Yeah, I decided to pick up at level seven because Talim is now also uh, after the encounter with the death and you know the immutable fact of you know what has passed has passed. And the only time we have is forward. Uh, he is now starting to delve into a bit of chronomancy and is a time mage. Ooh. So I have a little cantrip called Time Sense, which allows me to know the day, the time, uh, everything like that, down to a down to the millisecond. But also by maintaining it, it allows me to have a plus one to attack roll, perception checks, and saving throws or skill checks. Ooh. I take on the same turn that I cast Time Sense. Yeah, go ahead and cast that. And you He's can tell. And how, you can... How, many, how much money he's lost? <laughs> <laughs> you, I've been dead so, for this amount of time. So this I've is interesting. Gold. This is interesting because now with Time Sense, you kind of know exactly how long you've been down here. And you've been down here for a good amount of time. So you've been okay. down here for, let's say, let's say around a month. Uh -uh. You've been dead for a month. Good Lord. Wow. So like as 
we're if, going along. And if and everyone was doing is, their job right, you would have a large amount of money by this point. <laughs> Ooh. Um, yeah, as we're going along and Talim starts to, you know, mess with the the flow of time through magic, um, cool. he kind of keys in on the fact that, you know, he realizes now that we've been dead for a month. And as we go oh. into this new chamber, <laughs> Talim will, uh, as Beetle's going off on his tangent, uh, will look at Gray and just be like, I have news. News? Uh, through use of magic, uh, we have been dead for a month. She slowly just kind of rubs between her eyes and her ears like flatten. Like she's got the airplane ears going on right now. And she's just like, of course it's been a month. Like to leave, like, we'll splay his hand open and it looks like little like grains of sand are like forming together and showing like little uh, like algorithms and things like that. And he's like, so if you actually look at here in the flow of time, uh, and how much has passed according to uh, the dispersion of magic. You will see that it has actually been about a month has passed. I, I mean, that's more impressive. She, Gray doesn't have any words. She's just kind of like sitting there holding her face in her hands. She's just like, I just want to go home. <laughs> I just want to leave. <laughs> Good news. I'm- if we are able to extricate ourselves from this uh hopefully business ventures will have yielded a tidy profit in the meantime mm. we That's will great no, it's gonna be fine we're gonna get out uh hold on we just gotta find our chest and our little friend and then we can find a way out and i would like to try and look for footprints drag marks from the chest uh, if i find anything maybe a leaf left from the leshy uh, if I can find anything that indicates where the leshy has gone, I'd like to pursue a lead on that and like <laughs> and like lock in like sniffer dog. That's gonna be my exploration activity. Yeah, Gray's also looking for exits. She's looking for anything of interest that could assist as they go. Huh! You see that the cavernous hallway only leads forward for now. You know, you didn't see any side passages or anything else as you were delving down different slopes and falls. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will sustain an effect, and the effect that I will sustain is that within my little uh, magical kinetic aura, uh, a little bit of moss uh, will form on the ground where we are walking, just in case uh, we are a little bit more silent. That we perhaps should be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, except if you zoom in on the moss, it's actually a bunch of small hands. Oh, I hate that. It's cool, but I hate it. <laughs> Talim and Beetle, you notice, uh, you, you hear as you kind of like pass by some of the mushrooms that they fucking eat you. Um, <laughs> instead, <laughs> they just. Uh, uh, That's why they were called ghost mushrooms. No! <laughs> no! You notice that they start doing a little, like a little song in a weird way. Oh. Is it start hearing the, oh, oh, me, oh. You know, it's very faint. Very faint. Not a lot of people would pick it up. They got MIDI hey. keyboards. Yeah, but you what would hear like, the oh, fuck? oh, me. As you just passing by them. If you have any HP to be healed, you heal one. Oh, they're friendly. Uh, I was going to say like also how much time, how long have we been walking at this point? You've been walking for a good, well, I'll say 30 minutes as you've been going down. Okay. Then I will actually be at full HP because uh, you do funny passive ion stone. Yeah, it's not passive. You still have to activate it. Oh, it's in the it's in the wayfinder, which I keep on me. So it's yeah. essentially it's orbiting my head. Yeah, it's just in the wayfinder. Yeah, you still have to activate the stone. It's just basically you, you consciously, but don't worry, you're fine. You probably would like. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But as you all continue down, 
Beetle Gray and the rest of the party, you notice a fire up ahead. Ah. And you see that there is a fellow very much bandaged up, just kind of lean back near a makeshift tent. And as you all begin to approach, you see these two creatures that are near, near this guy. I could look over at all of you and go, and then immediately dash away. No! That's not Beetle screaming. No, that's me screaming. No, that's me screaming. <laughs> <laughs> they immediately dash away. And you're in here. Oh, wait, ah. wait. Uh, and you, you see the guy just lean back, like too tired to get out, get up from his position. And he kind of ah. looks at you all and he kind of looks down the hallway and uh, you see that he kind of puts his hand like inside of his uh, shirt a little bit like over his chest. Hello there. Like, <laughs> oh, so much. <laughs> it's always weird to hear that potential, potential other delvers or robbers would just approach someone with such a friendly greeting. Uh, oh, we fell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we fell, and then there was a big freaking zombie hog back there. Thank God I had like eight pieces of ammo in my pockets, or we would have been freaking Dunsdale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I threw a rock. Hello. Y you doing okay, buddy? Uh, you see this guy is horribly bandaged up and he has been leaning over by this makeshift tent as if healing. Uh, allow me a second as uh, the lovely piece of art got horribly compressed somehow. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, I need to see if I can re-upload it to get it fixed. Let's we see. Love this it man got scrunched. Complete. Please show while, us the crunchy version for now, please. While, while you're so doing, cute. while you're doing that, is he sitting against the wall like a Dark Souls two NPC? Absolutely. <laughs> Here, here's the crunchy <laughs> version. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you can't see anything. It is oh, crunchy. So, oh my god! So I can Look at them slightly pixels. make mm. out his DSLs. Yeah. So how this happened? So this is the. As I fix everything, hi Kiwi. That hi, basically. Kiwi. <laughs> Sorry, he's up in his office. I. It's okay. It happens. Still hear him. Then, uh, basically, what happens, or wh why some people might have this happen to them if they use Tokenizer, the Foundry module, uh, in the options, depending on how your browser is, or if it saves the setting, you have to double check all the time. Um, if you have it set for the resolution, it goes by default 400 by 400. But of course we have awesome, amazing art, which is high quality and stuff. It's sometimes size to go. We're not going to have it a higher resolution. So screw you. So it does that. So then now when I apply this and do this, basically you change I changed a thousand, a thousand. I can now hopefully get up. Look, come on, you rat bastard. <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> Because it's, you know who doesn't suffer from this? The podcast listeners. That's right, there everyone. This is a shout out to the podcast user. There he is. There we go. That's higher resolution art. So this basically before you see this person bandaged up, uh, bandaged up. His hand is still kind of in like the sort of this folded over tunic, and he can you can barely see his face past all the bandages. He has very messy hair. You see that this guy has seemingly been here for a while he seems very settled in with his tent and he looks at you oh. through bruises and slightly bloodied bandages on certain sections and he will and go like well i i seem to have fallen too but you seem to be in way better state than i am how long have you been down here what happened oh he leans back, kind of looking up at the cavern at the cavern ceiling. Uh, a couple mushrooms are helping light up a surrounding area a bit. I've been here for I what's today? I don't know. I'm casting time since what is today's date? <laughs> <laughs> what what's the calendar thing yeah. today? Okay, uh, actually precisely rattles off the day the Hours, the, the minute, and the second. You relay the information, which is my way of saying we have not developed the calendar system yet. And uh, <laughs> and he, he kind of leans back. He's like, a while, months. I think we've been down here for about a month since we fell. 
Yeah, I was yeah. here whenever uh, a loud rumbling happened and a whole bunch of stuff fell down. I got separated from from my delving group, and a couple of them went off to our hideout over this way. As the other as the other group, other part uh-huh. of the group got separated, and I I haven't heard back from them in a while. Usually we scout it out because sometimes creatures tend to kind of fill in the gaps here and there, but they're not oh, back. They're know? probably dead. So you're a Delver? Yes, I'm part of the Delver's Guild. Ah, do you know Baron? Baron. He starts yeah. scrubbing his dwarf has a dog. A, with He's a got a dog. Hand. Very it. square head. Like, <laughs> Candle oh. on his head. I do know Baron. Yeah! Baron got us into... Well, we haven't started delving. I guess this is like our unofficial start since we fell in. But uh, we were we were actually going to come by and maybe join the, the Delvers. Can I... Um, I'm sorry, I don't have anything on me that uh, could prove my trustworthiness to you in any way, but uh, I, I have some medical experience if you'd like me to, to help you with your injuries, if you'd be okay with that, I, I can. You see with the defeated shrug, he can't move very much. You Aww. see, he'll, he'll, he'll release his hand out from under his shirt and he'll just kind of lean back defeated. He, he's letting you do whatever. Oh, okay. Okay, I I promise, like I, you'll see. I promise. I promise we're trustworthy. I promise I'm not gonna hurt you. I promise. And he's gonna pull out like his his medics kit and all that and lay it out nice. And I'm gonna do some. Uh, I'm gonna sit here for a good ten minutes and I'm gonna treat him properly with some medicine. Yeah. Gray's gonna plop down next to him just so like he has something to lean on if needed. She's very fluffy. Heart's gonna make him food. Dalim will hover in the corner. Like a loner. <laughs> Go back to the slaughtered lamb. Get out of here. I don't know how much HP this stranger has, but Beetle just patched him up for 52 points. You see, you, you definitely help him out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you see he, for one of the bandages that you undo, you see this guy was horribly messed up. He, he needed these bandages oh. exchanged forever ago. These have been here since he first got settled. So... If you without for you, you see he's very sickly as well. Yeah, there's infection. infect yeah infections. He like something else is 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 riddling him. He's just all messed up. But with your uh, med with your first aid and stuff like that, uh, yeah, you're, I, you're yeah. able to get him on the right track. Because if you he feels left alone any longer, he would have died. Yeah, I can treat his his sickness by administering first aid. Yeah, don't your your roll's your your roll's pretty good. Okay. What is. Okay. So you're good to go. Okay. 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 Like he yeah. leans back you're... and he'll shake your little uh, cobalt hand and you go like, "Thank you." Yeah, no it's problem, like, man. Like normally, you know, normally Rathy would get me, but you now I haven't seen her in a while. You, you say you guys aren't aren't Delvers at all? Not like, yet, no. but we we've, we've been really interested in it. I mean, technically, we've done it before, you know. We're unlicensed, if anything. Well, we were sent out here to look for something, and we got caught up when the floor collapsed. Yeah. Well, any friend of Baron's is a friend of mine, especially the Dalver who found the Whispering Trees. The Whispering Trees? That's a big find he found about, you know, before we kind of left in. Apparently there, there's a lot of places down here. Sometimes there are secret gardens or, you know, houses oh. kind of embedded into the rock. But apparently Baron found a whole forest down here. Whoa. Whoa. Without sunlight. Is it like a swamp on the outside or is it like an actual forest? He described it as if somebody grew a forest down there and it's lit up by... All of these, and he kind of motions around uh, to all the mushrooms that are around on the walls. Oh, hey, Soren, with my ability to grow plants from nowhere, uh, can I use that and my cooking skill to make this guy a salad or something easily? 
something with fiber in him so he can fucking not die. Uh, I have some. Oh no, I don't. I'm out of rations. <laughs> Never mind. I got nothing. I want to make him a papaya salad. Let me, let me make him a papaya salad. Yeah, roll me a Shmushroom. crafting check. Can I, can I make it with cooking? Yes. Nice. This guy who's been eating nothing but these mushrooms for the past three months is like, mmm. I roll. <laughs> I roll a two for a total of 15, but I will re roll that with my hero power. Yeah, baby, it's better. It's 19. <laughs> it's still better than most characters would. You make a decent stew. Nice. Something Dude, potatoes. In, to him, it is gourmet because he had, because. Definitely, you've noticed he's been eating nothing but mushrooms and yeah. surviving off the water stream that's near his little campsite there. Eat up, buddy. You look like you need it. Like, thank you. And you see he'll very weakly take the bowl and try to basically eat through it. He what's, like up, uh, what's up with the, uh, the plant guys? Yeah, we saw them. They ran away from you. Oh... That's, I met them down here whenever, now after the rock collapse and everything else, uh, one of them has been helping take care of me. The other, you know, the one with the leaves all around his head. Yeah. And the other one usually keeps his distance. He's been trying to, trying to help heal me, but he's not been very good at it, but he's been doing better than what I've been able to do. And he kind of gestures to the bloody bandages you, uh, you replace for him. Mm -mm. Without them, I probably would have died here, but from what I was able to gather, they they seemingly live down here. They have something that we've been looking for. Oh yeah, one of them actually snatched up, a, we, t we picked up a job. Like we mentioned, we originally came out over these parts looking for something, to grab something for somebody uh, when we slid in. Uh, one of them has picked up the item that we're looking for. So we're not sure how to go about getting that back. We don't want to cause any trouble. Speaking of which, have you seen a massive lockbox? Mm -hmm. Roll me a diplomacy check, Hart. Yeah. Let's go, baby. I'm untrained, but I have untrained improvisation, allowing me to at least add my level to the roll. I rolled a three for a total of 11. Please, hero point. You have a hero point. Okay, I, hero I point. do have please a hero point. Let me re-roll it. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I, uh, I assist? I rolled yeah, an 18 yeah. for a total yeah. of 26. That's you all can, my hero point. Yeah, you can make a separate roll if you'd like. We fed yeah. him, okay. we healed him, we patched him up. Please, please, please. <laughs> Where's my... There you go. I rolled a total of 26. I, uh, oh, I rolled a... S <laughs> Holy shit. You yeah, I also got a total of a 26. <laughs> Salim, how do you uh, how do you add into the conversation? Um, You know, uh, as to... As Hart is making the sound, they all describe the box. And he, uh, Talim will sit in the corner and uh, he's basically just looking at the the little like uh what is it time since thing that he has continuously ongoing and he's like he's like you know how it is sometimes you go down in the you go down in the dips and you find things but it's not always an easy process we we're hoping that if in any way you might be able to help us uh, that would be you know wonderful it's good for you know adventurers to help each other even if you haven't seen the lockbox, uh, do you feel like you could stand? We want to try and make our way back to the surface where we can find the box. So, and you're looking pretty, you're looking pretty rough. I would love to get you out of here and back to the guild. And I would like to also assist. Yeah, perhaps if we find your friends along the way, we could all try to make it out together. <laughs> I'm hero pointing. Wait, can I hero you, point? Can you, I hero you point? Can't hear a point. The natural ones. It's a roll we put one. in. Thanks, Froggy. <laughs> oh All God. that progress. As he's talking, <laughs> one eye starts to kind of drift off to one side, which makes it difficult to listen to what he's saying because his eye is drifting. <laughs> it's floating away. The untrustworthy eye. 
Yeah. Let's look up the complication sheet. Ooh. <laughs> it's time for a complication. And of course, if you too want to make the players just absolutely hate life, you too can go to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. So where then you yourself can basically go, ooh, let's just try and see. <laughs> you can submit your own complication. And uh yeah. And we make them feel pain this way. Let's see. Hmm. Not only that, but it helps all the really neat folks at Narrative Declaration like Zorin pay their bills. Yeah, it keeps a roof over our head. Yeah. I'll take this Cry. one from let's see. From Purge Utopia. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for your, for your uh, contribution. Who's <laughs> and the complication is called "Who's on first? A confusing breakdown of verbal communication happens between either the party themselves or the party of the NPCs playing the status of fascinated to those party members that rolled for the verbal check, if applicable. And fascinated. Don't remember that at the top of my head. Let's see. The fascinating trait is you are compelled to focus your attention on something, distracting you from whatever else is going on around you. You take a minus two penalty to perception and skill checks. Da da da. You can't use actions with the concentrate trait. Da 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 da. Yeah. So because it ends of a creature use a hostile action pillar. Like, yeah. So basically, you're very hyper fixated on something. In Beetle, you notice this guy in his tent. Apparently, it's a good chunk of loot. And you seem very fixated on him. And, like, and you notice that there's one bag full of gold coins. And also, the chest. <gasps> Beetle. Oh. And so you get very hyper fixated on that. And yeah. He, and he picks up on it. Yeah. He picks on Bonnie and he looks at you and he's like, no, I sadly am not going to be able to walk for a little bit, but thanks to your help, I might be able to be good enough to go with some assistance, but I dare not go inside those caverns yet. For how long it's been, I don't know what creatures have probably crawled through by this point. Even the little guys that he'll motion down the hallway, uh, even they sometimes dare not go through it without stealthing around everywhere. Grail, okay. Grail slowly pick herself up, like her bones are creaking and cracking. Like this, this old woman should not be, not I be just... doing what she's doing. Uh, she kind of looks off into the darkness, uh, and just like caverns. Yeah, Something further. in there that's spooky. More well, centipedes. Usually, our hideout is further down here, and ever so often, creatures will start filling up the hallways trying to nest or find a new home and Look. ever so often when we have to try to come out we will we'll have to clear them out but since the collapse and stuff it's really messed up our hideout and disturbed on other nests and stuff so a lot of monsters have been moving in more and more yeah thankfully for them i would have been eaten several times if they weren't here for me she kind of dusts herself off and she kind of <sighs> looks looks down. She's like, well, we're pretty good with dealing with monsters. I, Clearing I, stuff out. Yeah, I we got to move, you know, I I think if you came with us, you might stand a better chance than if you wait and mend up a little bit more here on your own. Well, perhaps we can clear a little bit of a way. You yeah. said that you would prefer to make it to your hideout with your friends. If you could point us in that direction, maybe we could work towards a meetup between our two forces. That'd be great. Especially if we can link up with them. We can just open the hatch right up for you and get you back to the surface. And I'm That would be amazing. I would like to get back up there and get back to the guild. I, uh, I, I hope this doesn't come off as rude, but I couldn't help but notice you have a, a box there. Would you mind if we took a look to see if it was the box that we've been looking for? 
You see, he immediately tenses up. I'm open to trading for it. We just, this is for our job. You see, he'll kind of like motion back. And he's like, I, no. And did he you, looks at you. <laughs> he's just staring did, at did, you. Did you get that from the, the little guys? Like just now? You're new to delving, aren't you? I guess. You never ask a delver about his loot. But I just want to make sure it's not ours. He simply stares at you. Talim will actually chime up from across the fire. Um, and it's like, that's the thing, Beetle, is when you find something down in the depths, when you find things amongst the dark, amongst the detritus, amongst places forgotten. It is not somebody's unless they claim it first. And oftentimes the way that it no longer becomes theirs is through unfortunate accidents or the violent actions of others. You might be putting him in a bit of a uncomfortable situation. Which I'm considering sorry. During his physical state, would be even worse. How about this? I'll give you this box and you see he'll tap the chest. If you can clear away to my hideout. But if it's not our box that we're even looking for, we don't need it. You understand? If we go, like, we'll go and we'll clear the way to your hideout. But if it's not our box, please just he looks around to the others and then kind of says it with some inflection, like he's suggesting, keep it. Well, here is the thing, Beetle. Is, if it turns out to not be, we can just say, ah, keep it at the end. I think it's a reasonable, okay. reasonable negotiation. Would yeah, you like to make a, we'd like to make a perception check the, for what you can see of the box kind of tucked in the yeah, back of the tent. Yeah, does it look similar? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. We see with my special little eyes. Special. I saw that too for a second. I, I, like, I saw it <laughs> Like I just felt it rise in my throat. Like, mm. That's a total of thirty-one, though. You notice that it is exactly the chest that you've been okay. looking for. Okay. Beetle will keep that to himself for now. I think it'll be even if it isn't our box. We're at least helping him out. I don't mind that at all. I mean, yeah. it's not like he could lift it on his own either. Like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> look, look at him and look at where we are. Being down yeah. here, languishing, being left to die. We got to get him out. No offense. No offense. No offense. <laughs> Salim just like, just like hovering over there. He's like crossed leg. He's just floating like three <laughs> to four inches off the ground. And he shrugs and he's like, none taken. I would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's go see if we can clear away then. If we can find his friends, uh, his hideout. And then we promise we will come back. Yeah. I was going to say, speaking of which, has this guy been like disturbed at all that there is just a fucking specter hanging out with these three? <laughs> You've noticed when he's looked at you, he's been wigged out a little bit. He's like... <laughs> This thing isn't eating my soul, and he seems chill. I'm going to see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten that impression of him so far. Like, he's been but down here for a month being taken care of by leshies. I think yeah. he's like, you know what? <laughs> if I, I mean, die, least, I die. At, at least that's a bush person. Like, you can touch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, just, he, just, he ain't met a ghost person yet. He don't know if he can touch a ghost person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Sorry. <laughs> I've been really <laughs> you see that he'll extend a weakened hand down the hallway and go, it's okay. It's like, they seem good. It's like, maybe you could help them out like you helped me. Uh, you know, just if you can help them get through the mushrooms. And you see that he just kind of leans his head back tired. He's like, come on, it, it, it's okay. And you see one little, one little guy will come over. Kind of further into the light, and you see it's a it's mushroom a leshy. He's so cute. You see this little guy uh, kind of pop up through oh, the sh other side of the shoom. of the thing, and he goes like, uh, "Well, I call him Shoom because he, well, 
and you see the little less you will look at heart and go Whoop. and you in a little mushroom that's on its head like a little tiny mushroom you'll hear it in a higher pitch go Choo. i'm gonna fucking cry i love them i love them i can't so wait much. to put this guy in a soup pot no <laughs> <laughs> hey hey soren hey soren i'm snoring uh the wood plane, at least in standard Pathfinder, includes fungal, fungus as well. Uh, so if anything, Hart will literally just point at Shum and be and just apply the nourishing. So he just basically feeds Shum by just pointing at them. Shum. It looks it's my at thumbs you. up. It looks at you with an unblinking stare from two beady eyes that is crowned with a mushroom cap. It has these tendril sort of like viney limbs, which are cloaked in sort of like a clothing fungus like robe that it has and it has cute little little like clog feet <laughs> and it shuffles to them. and fro. I love him yeah. so love fucking so much. much. Holy crap. Look at his little baby brother. Look at his little baby brother up there. Oh, my uh God. They're so cute. Heart attempts to do a little sway on his own and says, Heart! <laughs> it points to itself. Shoom! And the little <laughs> other mushroom will wiggle. Shoom! Hi, Heart. Shoom! Hi, Shoom! Shoom! It like looks at Heart you. just evolved to Pokemon. Heart points at himself. <laughs> Heart! Shoom. I want you to know I would take a bullet for Shoom. Uh, right. I'm Beetle. That's gray, that's heart, and that's to leave. Somebody's gonna make the joke. I am Groot. <laughs> oh my god! I am Shoom. <laughs> <laughs> it points to itself again. Shoom. Well, Shoom, looks like we need to help uh, clear out some stuff. Shoom. Yeah, me too, buddy. <laughs> I don't know how much you uh, might have heard, but we're gonna try and get to... Uh, this buddy's campsite. Wait, what's your name? And he turns back around to look at the guy. Oh, my name's Garvin. Okay, nice to meet you, Garvin. We're trying to get to Garvin's campsite with his homies. Shoop. Yeah, so that we can save him. Shoop. Shoop. Yeah. Do you help us? Shoop. You're gonna have to lead the way. Shoom. Shoop. And just like alternating patterns, it begins to go. Shoom, 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 shoom. <laughs> and it begins to waddle. Yes, 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 yes. I've got another shoom for you. <laughs> Beetle hits the whip when he's, when he's crossing the water. <laughs> <laughs> it, be, it begins to go as it kind of leads you all. And uh, you notice, and you notice behind you, Hart, that Willow will pop out from the side and just kind of kind of pat Garvin down a little bit like <laughs> of the leaf fleshy that you saw before and you see Garvin just kind of like pats him away like I'm fine I'm fine it's okay like they didn't do anything and they're like maybe I'm <laughs> like making sure you didn't plant a bomb in him or something I'm here for his his plant parents I love his plant parents but um, you all and Go ahead, go I was ahead. gonna say it's like the last party member out of the room. Kaleem will like uh, turn around and uh, do like a little bow. It's like enjoy your rest, and hopefully we will meet again soon. <laughs> Garvin, like, like so the the vibe of Garvin has been basically. You ever like worked like a fifteen hour shit or shit? shit. <laughs> same thing, <laughs> same thing. Shift no, or I've shit. Been there. You know, I've been I, there. same like, thing. You, you, you're grasping yeah. each side of the toilet yeah. bowl. You're wondering why they call it a restroom because you're fighting, fighting for, for your, your fucking, fucking life. life. You're trying to be a fire hydrant. <laughs> and, and, you know, after 15 hours of working like hard labor, you're dealing with people, just everything just sucks, you know, and you're at the vibe of where you're finally sitting down on your couch. You have no energy to move in any way, shape, or form, and everything's just whatever, just in me so I can not go to work tomorrow. That's yeah. his vibe. 
<laughs> then, at, then at the fi five minutes before closing at the gas station, when your shift is over, you hear, Dun -dun, and these four fuckos come in. Yes. <laughs> you get, a, in you get an entire family that comes into the restaurant one minute before closing, and they, and they get mad if you tell them to leave. <gasps> yeah. No! That's us. Well, Except for left him with potato soup. Him up and told yeah. him what day it was. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, you God. hear shoom, 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 shoom. I follow the shooming. We shoom, follow the shoom. shoom, shoom. We follow the shoom. <laughs> hey, bro, can I get four monsters in a skull? We only we follow the shoom. <laughs> we only follow the shoom. Sorry if I, I, I've i been weird with my, my beauty muted or like you being able to hear my keyboard. I noticed that you can hear my keyboard. So as I'm taking notes, I'm like, sometimes I remember to mute my mic and other times I'm just like, mm. <laughs> just there. I was trying to fucking talk and I was muted. God damn it. I haven't heard the keyboard at all. Oh, okay, I, I, I heard it a little bit, but nothing too awful. I'm like, shoom, <laughs> baby brother, baby brother. <laughs> It like you'll see the little little fun guy will come over to one of the mushrooms. He sure over is over to the side. Yeah, and you'll see guy. he'll kind of bring his hands up to some of the mushrooms and go shoom, 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 shoom. But he'll look at all of you and will also mm -hmm. kind of like beckon you to join in and be like, shoom, 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 shoom. Uh, Heart does Beetle it. Yeah, Beetle copies him. Beetle puts his hands up in his tail. Greg kind of looks over them as they do it, and she just kind of shrugs and just joins along. <laughs> the ironic uh, bit is that both <laughs> both Grey and Hart has nature magic. Yeah, we're being, we're being indoctrinated into a cult right now. Shum will come up to you, Beetle, and its little little cute little vine hands will kind of like grab Beetle's little hands, and it will go Shum, uh, Shum. Shoom. Shoom. And you see one of the mushrooms to your side will kind of a little bit. It'll <gasps> slightly light up. <gasps> and it will go. Shoom. Mushrooms kind of do it singing. Shoom. <gasps> Shoom. Whoa. With the mushrooms. We'll go Beetle with you pogs. again. <laughs> <laughs> The Beetle shit. looks at his group and pogs so hard. I, I want Beetle to run around with two <laughs> mushrooms. One in each hand. Shum will come to Gray and the same thing will kind of like, like kind of reach up and grab one of your uh, paws and be like, okay. Shum. Shum. Oh, like mushrooms to the south also light up. It's a bit weird with the uh, thing, like on my side, because I have like all the lighting and stuff in a way. The Nothing the lighting's happens. a lot more deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can click one of the players that kind of, yeah, heart. There you go, heart's vision works out. So yeah. basically, like some of the mushrooms and the shoom go shoom shoom shoom. I think shoom is introducing us to the mushrooms, or he's teaching us. How to light them up. <gasps> Shum ah! comes to Talim and tries to grab one of her hands, but it goes through like, Shum, woof, shum, <laughs> oh, no! Woom, shum, woom. <laughs> he keeps <laughs> trying to grab at your hand, but he just can't Whoa. figure it out. Look down at Shum and he will hold up a hand and he will go light and it will cast light. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but you see it'll it'll shake its head no and it'll try to like like stop the light like it's trying to grab the light to stop it <laughs> somebody will d extinguish the light spell it'll kind of wave its hands and goes Come on, come on, Talim. Come on, do it. Come on. No. Come on. Talim, you have to do it. This is a comfort thing. If you, because you're sick and stuff, don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry about trying to match a pitch or anything. Yeah, I assume you shoom back. Sure. <laughs> and if you don't <laughs> want to, if you don't want Talim to do it, that's okay. You can the say no. Talim is just like, 
No, he's stubborn. He's like, <laughs> I can see in the dark. I can cast light. I don't. He looks don't down and is sad. It's so... about becoming friends with the Shulm. So... Come he's on, an to undying leave. creature that's anchored to this earth by greed. <laughs> I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want from him. This is going to come back to bite you in your spectral plasma, man. Are you telling me that my consequences are going to, that the consequences of my actions are going to haunt me? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> ba <-dum> <laughs> I'm quitting the campaign. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> the mushroom will, or, or Shum will look at uh, Heart. And we'll kind of grab Hart's hand and bring Hart to these southern mushrooms and start going. Hart holds up his hands and he shans with Shoom. Yeah, yeah, Shoom! For those, for those who Shoomed, for those who Shoomed with Shoom, you get a plus yeah. one to your next thing. Whatever you can apply it on. Nice. As you see, <laughs> what's up? Nice. <laughs> We're but inspired. And if you have any HP lost, you see that the uh, Shum will kind of stay with you for a little bit. He will sing with the mushrooms with you around. So you uh, for anyone who has any HP lost, you heal three hit points. Yay! And he's trying. Shoom, he's trying so hard. Shoom, 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 shoom. It just—it's a music cacophony as you come through the cavern walls. I want to live here. And no, shoom, we have things to do. And she will shoom. escort you further down. You see, he's a bit careful as he goes to mushroom the mushroom, and you see he'll touch them and be like. Shoom. And you hear the uh, mushrooms are kind of shroom. <laughs> and, uh, and Shroom will invite uh, one of you to come over and touch the mushroom. Go on, Beetle. I They're know a community. Want I want to become a part of the community. He touches Grace. the mushroom. Gray is just watching Amuse. Like, this is very much like watching uh, her grandkids being goofuses to her. <laughs> Shum will kind of take little Beetle's hand and kind of hold it down on the mushroom and will go, Shum, Shum. Shum, Shum. Then it'll look at you dead in the eyes and go, Shum, Shum, Shum. Shum, Shum, Shum. Shum, Shum, Shum. Shum, Shum, Shum. Beetle picks, Beetle picks up, Beetle answers. Shum, Shum, Shum. Shum, Shum, Shum. <laughs> <laughs> you realize this entire time you've been in a dream, your alarm goes off. <laughs> Beetle, do you have anything in nature, untrained or not? I don't think I do. Let me check. Uh, untrained. Go ahead and roll it for me, regardless, with a okay. plus two. Okay. Modifier plus two. Uh, can I add my pursue a lead as well or no? Not on this one. Okay, you got it. No, it reset my two modifier! Okay, so that's actually a 10. That's a 10. It's okay. <laughs> 10. You seem to struggle a little bit, but you understand, but you kind of get what Shum is trying to help you understand. And okay. with Shum's help, you know you're not going to be able to do this just by yourself. Uh, huh. But with Shum, you're able to listen through the mushrooms. You kind of like get a sense that there's an entire network of this. Um, and you can tell that there's just something. There's something just digging into your brain. That there's something south of you. And there's... Those sort of words you wanted to use? That it's <laughs> digging into his brain? <laughs> listen... <laughs> That uh, they're just something south and over to the east, something mm -hmm. picked at you, but yet nothing kind of solidified. Beetle's pupils turn into perfect circles, and he kind <laughs> of zones out, and he's still holding the mushroom, and he goes shoo. shoo. <laughs> 
The nice. Shun with everyone else who doesn't know, like Shun will just release your hands. Guys, I think I think we gotta go south. I trust you. Yeah. I think we have to go this way. Shum will okay, offer go, go, go. his hands <laughs> to anybody else who wants to touch the mushroom. We'd see Beetle's pupils go like perfect dinner plate circles. <laughs> it's like we have to go south. And when Gray, without a shred of hesitation, looks at Beetle's like, I trust you. Talim like whips around. Like if he wasn't dead, he would have snapped his own fucking neck. And it's just like tilts his head. It's like, really? <laughs> like just that look. And then no, he just no. looks up at the cavern ceiling. It's like, <sighs> it's there's gray, something gray, to the east too, but I, I think south is where we need to go. Gray will walk up to the mushroom and up to Shum and be like, I need to see what was shown for so, uh, just solidifying things. Shoo. She will hold out her hand. You'll place it onto the mushroom. Shum will help you and roll me a nature check. Rolling. I saw Ooh, it one nice. for a second and I almost cried. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It was nice. It was nice. It was, it was a total nice. of 30. So with your roll of 30, you see a lot more than Beetle did. You are able to kind of get a sense of like these mushrooms as they're connected to each other. You can kind of use this as a way to sense what other mushrooms kind of can detect and sense around it. And you can tell further down to the south of this cavern that there are these creatures kind of like latched up into the uh, ceiling of the cavern. Do you know that the caverns are either kind of short of about 10 feet or so, or even just kind of boom, like right up really high, like 30 or something feet above. It's been kind of sporadic as you've been going around. And you can tell that there's something like there's a couple creatures to the south. And to so, the east, you can tell that something has tainted, tainted something like in in a water. It's to lean, and now you start to hear kind of like sloshing and rushing of water to the east of you. And you notice know there's something in it along with some life forms that are in the water itself. She will. Everything kind of goes in slow motion for a second while she touches this this network of mushrooms. And she pulls herself back out. Everything kind of goes back into fast forward and just and she goes, Beetle. Wait. Uh? Oh. There's something down there. Yeah, I know. No, it might not be good. Oh. And there's something, something to the east, something to the east. I that there's water, there's something in the water. She's she's like trying to like communicate what she saw in her head, yeah. but trying to put mushroom language into Grace speaking properly language is a little tricky. So she's kind of like blathering a little bit. Uh, if water. we go down, if we go down there, we have to be careful. Something above, it might be more of those 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 worm things. <gasps> the centipedes. Sure. It might be. It might be. I don't know, but it's something. Wait. Idea. If there's water that way, it would make sense for a Delver camp to be set up on water. Yeah. We could check the water first and then and then go south, but just watch the, the ceiling. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Choo. He's going to pull out his crossbow. Just ready it. Shoom. Shoom. She, she'll, she'll look at Shoom and be like, is there something dangerous south? Shoom. Great. Uh, <laughs> nod once for yes, two for no. Has no idea what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <Shoom>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just stares. Shoom. <laughs> Thanks, Shum. Okay, let's go check out East. A thumbs up. Shum. Hey, Shum, how many people have you killed? <laughs> it starts counting on its vines. <laughs> oh my god! It, it does not stop for a while. <laughs> Shum. Okay, let's go check to the East. 
Can't believe we found the Buffalo Bill of Leshies. <laughs> Things might get dangerous, and if they do, you should run away, okay, Shub? And Beetle does a little jog on the spot. It looks at you, and it also jogs. <laughs> Beetle gives him a thumbs up. Great. <laughs> thumbs up back. Shub. 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 The Beetle mushrooms goes. glow. Schumers, dude. <laughs> Schumers. Schumers. Uh, it ponders. <laughs> Schumers. <laughs> no, no, no. Dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Do we maybe want to go quietly? A little sneaky? Oh, yeah. Talib, you can see in the dark. What if you take a peek at what's in there? I mean, yeah. Uh, Talim will turn around and like, I can try that. And yeah. uh, Talim will uh, use stealth and try to uh, sneak around and uh, see if he sees what's in the water. Absolutely. If he, fail, if he fails the stealth, is it that he instinctually rattles chains? And goes, Ooh. Like some fucking Scooby-Doo monster. And just... Yeah. So I rolled a total of a 25. Okay, nice. let's see if you succeeded. Go ahead and go forward. Mm. All right. Sneak up over here. I believe don't die. Bye. And then here. Good uh, luck. Reroll. See ya. <laughs> so new. So you begin to go forward, Talim. Yeah. Kind of floating along. You. You begin to hear water and rushing in. Water kind of lapping up near a shore that you can see right in front of you in about 10 feet. It, the cavern here kind of twists a bit and kind of goes down uh, to a small bank. You see that there's a wooden post that would have a rope into it, but you see it's been broken off and kind of mangled and messed with a bit. So it's definitely unusable. But you would imagine someone moored something here. Uh, further past on, you see rushing water coming through the rock in the caverns and stuff just torrenting inside of here, filling up this entire area to be a sort of like pond underground. Here. One thing you'll notice, however, uh, if you want to... Yeah, your perception got through it. So one thing you'll notice is that there's something odd with one of the falling uh, kind of like waterfalls in, for, in front of you. You would detect it as something living made of water. But you can't quite uh, put your finger on it. You would like to roll me an arcana check to recall knowledge on it? I can do that. Let's see. I got a plus 13 to the roll. And that is a total of a five. But I'll actually go ahead and use one of my hero points to hero that. Hero point. Yeah. Boom. Yay. Shoom. <laughs> and that is the exact Did same. <laughs> you rolled the exact same thing. I'm checking the I don't trust okay. Foundry at this well, point. Yeah, I, I really don't. Like the there's too the same many thing times. What's the yeah. what's that uh God, what what's that philosophy or something? Like uh, it's something that you base a lot of information on, on only one thing and you base <laughs> the entire thing onto it when it's uh, actually survive, not true. Survivor bias. It's not that, it's something different. I, I mean, can't. I know what you're talking about, but still. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, it, it, I like a lot. I remember we've, we've someone shit and gotten the same result. It's confirmation just, bias. It, thank you. Yeah. yeah, confirmation bias. Yeah. Well, I'm extremely biased at this point. Anyways, so yeah, I rolled an 18. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm guessing, maybe. You get an idea of what it <laughs> is. And Except you see. Except for the fact that maybe it's a water elemental. It know. is. It's a living waterfall. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Cool. And you wow. know this thing just loves drowning people. Oh, mm. not ah. cool. Not cool. So you know not if you cool. mess with this thing, uh, it may potentially go after you. Unless you are super persuasive with it, but you see this thing it would basically push you around. But you know you can deal with it, but you that's the information that you remember of it. It's sort of like an elemental water creature. Huh. So, uh, I was going to uh, say that, you know, looking at the this lake or whatever, does it appear to be a um 
Right. Does it go anywhere, or is this just like a pond? You know, it goes further south. Like from if you went forward and to the right, you'd know that the water is rushing downward now. There's more to it. It's oh, okay. not just this little section. It expands further on. You have not seen the rest of it yet. All right. So at that point, um, I'm sorry if I'm starting to sound a little bit like not great. It, my, it's okay. my throat still hasn't fully recovered. Um, as we, you know, with that, uh, Talim will come back and he will basically let them know. It's like, so there appears to be some sort of waterway that does lead somewhere and even looked like it had some sort of mooring for maybe like a small boat or something that was used to traverse it but there is a slight complication there's something there isn't there not just something but it appears that a water elemental has made its current home there uh, and while it's not a problem for me, uh, they love to drown the breathing. Uh, I'm one of those. Yeah, so you can see where the complication comes into play. Yeah. Now, okay. it could be negotiated with, but I am not really versed in the languages of the planes. Don't look at me. I don't, I'm I don't. not quite sure what we could offer it potentially. I mean, I can only speak to rocks. This is not. This is not a big rock. This is a big water. Yeah. I mean, un unless it's cussing, it's like a mud puddle. I couldn't talk to it. Shum, do you know about the water elemental? Shum. Thanks. Great. Good. Good to know. Okay. Shum. Shum. <laughs> So, it's a singular water elemental, but we would also more than likely be dealing with it in a place where it has the advantage. Probably not the best idea. Do we think maybe we could have Shum talk to it? He seems to know about things down here, and Shum, he's a little friendly fella. Shum looks like, uh, like he's saying something over there. Or he's just dancing. You see, he's he's uh, he's singing to the mushrooms. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think that Shum. I think that Shum is pretty good at being Shum. I don't think that Shum can talk to water guys. I, I, listen, I'm. I don't want to pick a fight with a big water. The only thing I can think to offer the water is I got this bar of soap, which is pretty fun because it makes bubbles. <laughs> I would guess that something that is going to change the water from pure water is not going to be something it likes. Oh. Do we want to go and beat up a puddle? Well, we also have the option of going south, which also seems to be occupied, but we mm. also know that whatever it is, they are attached to the ceiling. The choice is Shoom. at this point inconsequential to me. Hey, sh hey, Shum. Shum. Uh, heart points in towards that, uh, in, in towards the water cavern, and he, he sort of just starts to make a bunch of mycelium and like, you know, fungus grow around him, and he goes, yes, yes, we we go that way. Shum. Does Shum do anything other than just say Shum? <laughs> hmm. Beetle's gonna reach into his bag and pull out his hat of disguise, and he's gonna look at it and he's gonna think about it. <sighs> I'm Tally. waiting for Beagle to disguise himself as Soggy Beetle. <laughs> soggy Beetle Boys. I are there small water elementals? I, I, Could I impersonate I, one and try and talk to it? So, Beetle, my dear friend, in all things adventuring and risking our continued existence. Yeah. What is a water elemental composed of? Oh, water! Correct. But, see, I... 
So, okay, I've, I've learned that I can use this hat, and as long as I can, I can uh, take shape of something that is, like, similar in size to me, and similar in, you know, it, it would still kind of look like me. The water. But so, could I make like, myself, like, look like I'm made of what? Could I do that, maybe? I, Talim will actually, instead of just, like, hovering there imperiously as he always does, he will actually do, like... Where the, you know, the meme of like this, of like how not to talk to short people. Yeah. <laughs> Talim will like do like a slob squat and like rest his elbows on his knees as he hovers above the ground. And he's like, I'm sure you could try. In fact, yeah, I would like to see it. Yeah. Oh. Instead of solid beetle, you will be liquid beetle. Can, can I, I hate it here? Can I impersonate a water elemental with my my illusory disguise hat? <laughs> so, casting illusory disguise. <laughs> Can let's I? see. Disguise or impersonate using deception. Is are you ready to lie? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Disguising up as a dissimilar creature. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, so Dece deception checks to the dead. Like, I can uh. Yeah, like, what's the size of water elements? If you want to give me a, a hero one? point, I'll allow it. I'll allow you to okay. look like a water beetle, like some weird Super yeah. Mario 64 hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Okay, I, I don't, yeah. I was trying, I'm, like, looking up. I'm, like, what size is a water okay. element? Can if you I narratively declare, one? I'll allow okay. it. I narratively declare, and I inject this hero point, I narratively declare that he takes his trusty old hat of disguise, pops it on his horns, and immediately everything just psh, like just gets fucking wet. And he's, he just looks like a, like if he Beetle was a wax statue left out in the sun, like he looks like that, but it's water. <laughs> Choo! <laughs> <laughs> he moves, it's all wet and splatty. Bruh. And he's like, <laughs> here, let me, I have to make a roll for, for oh. it. Can I use pursue a lead on this? If you're trying to roll for deception, so you don't do that yet. Oh, I don't do my impersonate yet? Yeah, so basically, uh, those guys are going to impersonate using deception. So let's double check on that. Also, just to kind of be conscious of time, I know we haven't got to go on break yet. Um, can, like just save time because I think Minerva set a schedule or so. Um, yeah. Uh, do we want to just keep going if that's okay? Does anyone need a bathroom or anything? I'm okay. I mean, okay. I'm good for right okay. now. I'm casting illusory it. disguise counts as setting up a disguise for the impersonate use of deception. Let's see, or, 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 No, you are you are correct. My bad. Uh, say something. Your fancy disguise takes ten minutes and requires a disguise. You don't need to do that. Da 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 da. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and roll me deception. We'll see yeah, how this goes. Yeah, I need to see if it can see through my disguise. Oh, it rolled it privately for some reason? It's okay. I still see it. I can uh, make that public. You roll a 19. Okay. That's going to go <laughs> against it. Yeah. Okay. Shun right. looks at you all with its uh, little beady eyes and goes, Shoo. Okay, I'm gonna try and make friends with it and and maybe take a little peek. I'll I'll be right back. Oh gosh, it's dark. Uh, Talim doesn't turn his head as he's sitting there like <laughs> doing the hovering slob squat. He just like rotates in place and just like <laughs> just like following Beetle. Oh my god. Okay, so plap 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 sploosh splorch plap. He walks up to the water's edge and he looks in. <laughs> And he also, uh, he's going to try and, like, do the worm, like, while he's standing, like, so it looks like rippling currents, but he's just kind of like... <laughs> to be honest with you, I didn't fully ex fully expect the uh, the conversation because I wanted to make a warbly voice effect for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so we could do that live. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yeah. It's go, him. It's the mighty water dragon. I wonder if... <laughs> Let's see. Can I even make a warbly effect? I have no idea if I can. I, I don't know either. Uh, I don't know if I can. I wish I fucking could. I could only make Maybe. it... <laughs> That's not to do anything. Hold up. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe. 
Possibly. No, it's pitch shift. That's voice of sky. No, no, no. It's all garbage. It all <laughs> sucks. Yeah, it's like my my thing. Like I have to go through like a whole bunch of bullshit and be like, oh, let's see. Maybe maybe just, Echo. Maybe Echo, Echo can do it. Spin. Holy fucking shit! I can turn that off. Spin. Oh my god! And they can do the level of like, yeah, spin, 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 spin. Yep, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. So you come up, so you basically come up, up, so you basically come up to this thing. Let's change the thing to yeah. be. What does he see and what happens once he reaches the water side? Once he's, he's finished plapping and worming his way up there. I don't think plapping is the word you want to use. Yeah, you, well, well, you should. Oh, you're right. No, wait. I shouldn't do plap, plap, plap. No, I'm plapping. Plap, 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 get water, get water, get water. <laughs> Slithering over yes. like a water dragon. For uh, for vision's sake, uh, I'm going to drag Sammy here just so we have some coloration. Some color, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of this. Beetle's got dark vision, so he only sees everything in black and white right now. Hart sits oh, next actually, to Actually, everyone's Talim. screwed. It's all black and white. It's okay, though. <laughs> Hart sits next to Talim, and Talim gets to tell Hart what is happening. My screen is completely blank, so I'm just going, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just to uh, make life easier, we'll do that. Oh, thank Ooh. you. <laughs> This is what you say. You come up. Uh, how do you uh, present yourself one more time, Beetle? As you come up to the water's edge. So he comes in and he's quickly taking a little surveying look. Like as soon as he gets there, he doesn't immediately greet the elemental. He's acting like he just happened upon this place, not like it was preemptively planned. And he is swaying and moving. Like I don't know how to describe it other than you know when people do the worm. And they're Back undulating. inflatable arm guy. You're like, Bloop. yes, that's what he's doing. When he walks, he's doing that. And when he's standing still, he's doing that. And he kind of looks like a melted running wax statue, but it's all water. You see this giant surge of water come out of the waterfall and this sort of <laughs> serpentine water elemental kind of sloshes up towards the bank and goes, oh, you're much too late. This is my domain you little pipsqueak <laughs> like, you little pipsqueak you, 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 you can't be here look at you you're so small and pathetic <laughs> is it speaking draconic it's speaking common at you it's speaking common at me oh, oh. well technically well. it's speaking that uh uh the last like water elemental speak we have to change it for time right. stuff but right, right, uh, right. it's it's speaking that it's He's speaking that educated water elemental yeah yeah <laughs> to keep things to keep things simple it'll do that notice that you're not picking up what it's saying you know, and it'll go oh i'm sorry you're stupid <laughs> <laughs> that makes me too in the weird tongue and it'll start oh, speaking in common at you and it's like leans are you over just, heart and it's just like I didn't, I didn't tell Vito that they speak a different language. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to leave, I hate to leave, I hate to leave. Hart is squatting down next to him and grinning like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my mistake, great old one. I am very young, a fresh droplet. I'm just exploring these caverns for the moment. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Something's <laughs> wrong with you. <laughs> What? You, you can say that again. <laughs> it rolls a perception check. <laughs> Wait a moment. Your uh -oh. consistency, your liquidification, you're a fraud. I'm very, no, I'm not a fraud. I'm just, I'm fresh. I'm fresh. I'm a fresh little And you're dude. being horribly racist by going. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Sorry, you look okay. And he's gonna pop his hat off, and the water just goes, and he looks like a regular kobold. 
I'm sorry. I was scared that you would drown me immediately. I very much should for all the affronts you've just committed to me. No, it's just what I was told. I, this is, wow, you're so beautiful. I've never seen such a great water elemental before. Are you lying to it? No. Roll me diplomacy. I don't know if you remember what when Talib was like, there's a water elemental up here. <laughs> Beetle actually went, whoa! <laughs> like, he actually <laughs> thinks he looks so cool. Oh, so that is you, a, you, you think, think I'm beautiful, beautiful don't, don't you? I, I've never seen a water elemental before. You're like a big dragon. Wow. Sorry, you, you rolled a 24. I interrupted you, my bad. Yeah, no, it's okay. Oh, well, you, well, well go, go on. on. Well, I have some draconic blood myself, although it's it's very, very weak. I don't know if you have any relation to, to dragons or anything like that, but you, I've never seen a dragon either, and you look about as impressive as I would expect a dragon to look. Gosh, you're, and you're so glittery. No, <laughs> yeah, the, my, my water consistency is absolutely divine. Uh, you can keep going. Where did you? Where did you come from? Did you land here when the when the cave fell in? Are you doing okay? Oh, the, the waterway here was able to uh, um, flood in even more when some of the earth, it, uh, when some of it was able to make way, and I just slipped right in. It seems quite lovely here. Oh, <laughs> you've, you've got the slither feet too. <laughs> We're going to have to fight this. <laughs> I don't want to fight Beetle's new husband. Uh, yeah, this is this is Beetle's new water husband. What are you talking about? I'm over here getting wet and wacky, okay? Let me leave me alone. Hey, yo! Hey, yo, let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> make this water make this water boil. <laughs> getting You're steam in here. I'm oh, perishing. That's, that's fascinating. Do you mind if I if I take a, a few notes? Would that be okay? Oh, well, notes of what? Well, I just, I've never known anything about a water water elementals before, but I, I heard that, you know, there were rumors that you were down here. I, I just heard, actually, just now that you were here, and I thought, that's amazing. I need to see one for myself. I, you know, mm. okay, so I, something I've noticed is you, you tried to chase me away immediately. You don't get lonely? You prefer to just occupy this space by yourself? Oh, well, the only thing I need in my life is me just to look how glorious I am. Uh huh. You see uh -huh. it will shiver around and kind of like display itself. It's like, <laughs> like doing different sort of shapes and stuff as it kind of. Oh, he's so morphs vain. Around. Beetle's pupils <laughs> turn into plates. He's like, he's, it's like just getting fucking hypnotized by all the glittery water. But to give you any information, um, what, what is in it for me? Hmm. That's a good question. I, mean, I, would I would definitely love, love something, something, maybe something to hold, maybe something, something shiny or rare. I know solids what? love to hold material things, and they don't just like to let some things go. I don't like to know what that feels like to try and just be solid for once, you know? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I understand. Hmm. To let you feel solid for once. You bring up a good point. Okay. Hmm. He looks around and uh, does he see anything marring the bed of the, the water pool here? Like, are there bodies? Are there... Uh, from, from the coastline and stuff? No, you don't see anything. Okay. You, you don't see like a com comical pirate skeletal hand or something. <laughs> you know, I think... Actually, you know what would look so beautiful? Oh, and it would reflect. Oh, this would look so beautiful next to you. I collected these. I don't know. Uh, are these are these friendly to your little habitat that you're you're creating over here? And he opens his bag and he pulls out all his bioluminescent mushrooms that he's collected. Oh, the no, I have no interest in those. But hmm. hear me out. Look, see the glow and the colors, and then and then he's going to also pull out a finely crafted short sword that he has been holding on 
uh, since his journey freaking started, and he's going to put it down and line the mushrooms up near its blade so that they reflect and bounce light into the water. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Look at that. Oh, it looks so beautiful. With a quick wow. slash, it water jets a rock nearby and cuts it in half. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, you don't like it? I have no need for it. I'm sharper than anything you own. Oh, but I just I, thought the light was pretty. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to know how you solids lived. I've mm -hmm. always was curious to know how you experience your day to day. Hmm? I have an idea. If you want to make a trip, I will teach you things. In fact, I will gift you little things if you do something for me. Oh, wow. Uh, what a remarkable opportunity. My fr I have a very good uh, fleshy friend, much like myself, or well, less fleshy, more incorporeal. Anyway, I have a friend and he says that you should always jump on really good business opportunities that pop up. And this seems like a great one. What, what can I do for you? Oh, good. Your friend knows how to make deals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. allowing everyone to enter the, with deals. Major. This thing's been talking loudly. I want to give people a chance to also jump in if they want to or not. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Beetle will turn around and go, are you all right with if, if my friends come over and, and you can meet them? Maybe we can oh, all help. Sure. I would love to meet your friends. Beetle will beckon everybody over. Everyone's great, gonna great, great has been dead. hiding behind uh, like a, a a rock this entire time, and like she kind of slowly leans out, eyes wide. She's just like, "It's cool, we're good." She's amazing. Hey, <laughs> Talim, like look over at heart and whisper, and it's just like, I think, I was like, <laughs> I think Vito was about to jump on an explosive jar and not a deal. <laughs> I think that we should help him not do that. You know, like bros do. But it could be funny. It could be. <laughs> but hear me out. <laughs> Imagine the profits of being not only associated with elements of water and with water, but also he points at himself, earth and wood. Imagine we can, it, we're just three away from getting the whole set. I... <laughs> Profits, you say? Yeah. Hey, like, come on. Him, like, like, puts like a hand to his nose. Like, I mean, if there's profits in it, then perhaps it's not that bad of a deal. Yeah. Gray's gonna, it, Gray's gonna look over her shoulder at the two who are constantly whispering back and forth. She's like, "Come on, it's rude to keep I, the guests it, waiting, or we're the guests. This is our host." When, <laughs> when, when Hark stands up and walks with Talim, he goes, "And you know, Beetle is technically a guy who killed, you know, a big." disgusting, you know, rancid and uh, infectious creature that was almost near this water pool. So maybe we can, you know, tell it that. You yeah, know? Maybe, maybe. Let, let's see what it has to say. And it is yeah. this profits, you know. Like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi! <laughs> oh, look at all these your little friends. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, wonderful. Well, how about we can finish talking about that deal? Maybe your yeah. friends will be interested too. I've been very interested to see how you solids live. And if you just let me inside, I can give you abilities. I can give you thoughts. I can experience the way you experience things. And then I can tell you anything i know i'm sorry oh. i'm occu i'm occupied heart uh, pats his chest <laughs> talim will like put a hand partial to the rock unfortunately i am not very solid and very dead oh. i'm gonna be honest i haven't had someone inside me in years i don't know if i could do that again i've never had anybody <laughs> inside <laughs> <laughs> Are you really sure? I, I mean, are any of us? I'm gonna fucking perish. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck 
in. <laughs> Are you sure? Would would you feel comfortable with that? I you should know I kind of get remarks from other people about the way I look. I don't know if I would be a suitable or worthy vessel. Oh, it's not what I'm worried about. And whenever I no longer want to be with you, I would just easily expel myself from every orifice of your body. Uh, would I survive that? We'll have to find out. Creaks around to stare at the others. Heart, heart, heart gives him a thumbs up, but he's probably the worst person to ask about this. Beetle looks back around. I I suppose I sort of have an insurance plan right now if anything goes wrong. So I I I'd be willing to work with you. Yeah, that sounds really neat. Also, I'm pretty sure that my my draconic blood it comes from brine dragons, which are a type of water dragon, I think. So maybe we'll be, like, compatible, you know what I'm saying? Tolo is just, like, standing there with his arms crossed, and it's just like, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, would I get tired of just expend yourself, expend myself from, like, every orifice? And uh, Talim is just like, we don't have to fight it. Uh, we get to help out the greater elemental <laughs> being. I see this is a win-win. <laughs> so what you're meeting into the series, it will be, like, good buddies. We'll be well, besties, is what you would say. Well, only if we get on. I mean, if we don't click naturally, then it is what it is. And I'm, I'm okay with that. But I I would love to be able to show up. A, wow, a huge, gorgeous water elemental. The world above and the, and the physical were all oh, wow. That would be very cool. Oh, come on, Peter. You are more than personable. I think the two of you would get on perfectly. I have brine and dragon blood, exactly. brine. Yeah, We're, I'm practically a water elemental, and then he starts doing the the waving move again. <laughs> Good job, Beetle. Brine dragon. Salim are cool. like leans over and puts both his hands on his knees, like he's like, he's making it look like he's trying to like you know maybe stretch his back or something like that. But it, he is his shoulders are shaking violently. You can't tell looking at me because I'm a kobold, but if I was a big brine dragon, did you know that brine dragons are adept at capsizing boats? Huh? Pretty neat. Me too. We have so much in common! Absolutely. Okay, so what do I need to do? All you have to do is drink from this. And, and you'll see he will... Uh, you see this water elemental will start to condense itself into a ball. Uh, and it'll just kind of float there in front of you. Four. No, uh, Jarkana. All you have to do is drink. And then I will be with you. If you drown me, I'm going to come back. That's all I'm going to say, okay? Like, I, I've got an insurance plan right now, and it's it's just going to be really awkward if you try to drown me. So please don't try and trick me. Oh, that's if I drown you, it ruins the vacation I have planned. I want to experience what you experience. Oh, okay. And Vito will take the ball and give one last look to his friends. <laughs> Cree's kind of just just awkwardly giving a thumbs up because she has no idea. Like, the, the water elementals are completely out of her purview. <laughs> so Liam has finished having his giggle and he's staring very intently at the ball of water. A pure curiousness. Beetle looks around and he's yep. like, do any of you have the, the gem? Have any of you seen the gem recently? Gray looks around, like she's patting herself down. She's looking for the the amulet. Yeah. I have long since given up looking for it. It will show itself when needed. Okay, when you, well, when you pat it down or so, you notice that it's on Hart's wrist. Okay. Hey, hey, Hart, raise your wrist so it can see me. Ah, that <clears throat> holds okay. up his hand. Thanks. Uh, I just hope you're watching this, because if this doesn't work out, I'm counting on you, thanks! And then he... <laughs> <laughs> he opens his mouth and he... Glug, 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 and he fucking closes his chops around the ball. Just... And you can see his, his throat, like, expanding in big globs as he just... Glug, glug, chugs this. the fucking... I, I just imagine you chug it like a Fortnite shield potion. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. 
Have you ever, I, uh, have you ever like been outside and it's super duper hot and you've been super thirsty and you just yeah. finally got the most fresh, most oh. delicious thing of glass of water? Think of that like times a hundred. Like it is, it, it is the best water you've ever had. The best host. Wow. Water. You and, guys should try this. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's only for you. And then you hear inside of your head, Beetle, of, oh, gosh, this, this is, is how like you exist every day? day? Uh -huh. Oh, just, oh, uh, my I, goodness. I warned you. Uh. <laughs> you don't, you don't like it? Oh, oh you're, you're disgusting. You're filled with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so uh, impure uh, in here. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Do you even yeah. clean yourself? Uh, I've got soap in my bag. Soap doesn't cure this, sweetheart. Oh, goodness me. Well, why oh don't you God. tidy the up the place? Just, I'm not just, your just, maid. You figure it out, Solid. Sweet How summer child beetle from the inside. This is, <laughs> this is, this, I couldn't have hoped for more. <laughs> <laughs> to me right so absolutely not I'm you're just kidding. saying this shit out loud <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god Greg, Greg kind of leans over to Talim just like I think we just made him worse well I don't know I'll try one of those okay so there are these drinks and it's like you just drink lemon juice for a week straight it's called a cleanse we'll try that <laughs> oh, I, I need, need to, to make, make some room in here make room here my, oh. Roll a fortitude save. Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! They're gonna oh refurbish your left kidney. His head, his head fucking fills out, and he looks like a normal kobold. <laughs> <laughs> he fixes you. Just whoop. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I can actually add my brine dragon Go for dedication it. to to this roll for some reason. Yeah, because it's water. Oh. It has okay. the water tag. As so a total of twenty-seven. Uh, you stump yourself from vomiting as it makes adjustments as you're just in your stomach and stuff like that. And uh, and then you'll finally hear, I'm just going to make myself home here. So uh, go on, exist, exist as you normally exist. I'll, I'll be watching. And okay, I hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, make it entertaining, please. Don't be boring. <laughs> Beetle turns and looks at his friends and gives them a thumbs up while his eyes are rolling around in their sockets. Oh, oh no! Is facing away, he has one hand braced on a wall and he is silently shaking. <laughs> He's laughing at him. <laughs> I've got a water elemental inside me. Well, what does your water elemental buddy say about like what's further down the river? Would he know? Oh, that's a great question. Hey, do you know what's <laughs> further down the river? Oh, yes. Um, delightfully terrible fishies, which will uh, shoot water at you and push you off the rafters that no, some other solids have been making in there. Oh, there are other solids further down the river. Sorry, there are other people further down the river. Not <laughs> people you don't fish, I said. No, but there. You said there were fish and solids. No, that's a building. structure that solids me. There's no other solids there. Listen. Oh, I thought they were still making the structure. Okay, my bad. There is a structure that saw. I mean, people made, and then there's also fish that will shoot us. As Beetle says these things to himself, <laughs> uh, Hart leans over to Talim next to the wall and goes, "I think there was something in that water." Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, t t so we're not going down the river then. To leave leads back over at Hardy's yeah. like, I think my own death has just become much more entertaining. <laughs> so we didn't really need to come down this way. Yeah, but now you've made a new friend and Gray starts to walk away. <laughs> Hart will stand proud with his hands on his hips and wait for Beetle and then he will go, felt good, right? Warm in your chest when you get in there. Um, no, but it was very refreshing. It, it did feel nice, apart from needing to throw up. Oh, no, like you will. What? 
Yeah, dude, you know, you remember when I ate the fire? No! Dude, you died like right after... Ah, that might be why. Yeah, so you remember when I <laughs> ate a fire from a giant? Oh, wait, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. same thing. But, wait, you know, water, has it been, yeah. Has it been talking to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> to leave, like, looks back at me, it's like, never hesitate to jump on a good deal. I... <laughs> I... Shoom. Shoom. <laughs> Quiet, sad shoom. <laughs> All right, careful. Apparently there's something down here, up above. We could still take the fish that shoot, and then it doesn't seem like I, you know, I took, I swallowed a water elemental for, for no gain of ours, of our own. I'm sure he'll have invaluable things to help with later. Just ask him yeah. questions. He's in your head, just ask him any question. It's like a magic eight ball. Yeah. God! See what he's got to say about something. Just ask him a question. Beetle okay. just shakes okay. himself and an answer floats to the surface. He his is a eyes magic roll ball. over. Yeah, his yeah. eyes roll over and it says, like, uh, signs point to no. Well, uh, you have let's any questions? get our... Not at the moment. Okay. Let's get our gear out, because we're going to have to deal with the centipads. We don't even know if that's what they are, but I it's do know. probably going to be the centipads. The mushrooms told me it was above. No, it was not above. Crossbow. It's below. Below, below. Above is okay. where the guy is. Okay. Oh, I thought they were on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, it sounded like they were on the ceiling. Uh... So that's what I interpreted oh, as. Oh, sorry. You're mentioning that. My bad. I was saying location map-wise, it's to the south. Oh, my bad. I okay, okay. I see, yeah. I see, I see. But yeah, so basically, you guys are heading down the hallway. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Searching. As you searching continue for down, the guys. obviously, Shoom is going to eat mushroom, lighting things up. I'm like, Shoom, Shoom. <laughs> I love Shoom. What, what is, is that, that weird thing? Uh, that's, uh... What is Shoom? It's like a squishy solid. I don't think I've ever seen a creature quite like Shoom. He's close to... There was another one we saw that was made of leaves. I think they're... Leshies. Leshies. They're plant solids. Are there other creatures like water elementals that are your friends? No, oh, there are all sorts of things and creatures. Um, some of them are the <laughs> earth elementals, the very feisty fire ones, and all your sorts friends. of... No, well, I wouldn't really call them friends. We have all differences, and then of course there's other creatures who like to affiliate themselves with ones and ones like to abuse us. Oh, and speaking of, uh, one of them's here now. What? Uh, as you all are rolling in, uh, checking in, sorry, I was trying to do rolls and stuff at the same time as you guys were coming through. You all noticed that, uh, the ceiling, as you enter further into the cavern, there is another bank, more of a cliffside that overlooks a body of water, possibly the other side of the water that you saw before, where you had a bank going into it. Over here, you see that there is a dock and a boat that is moored on it as well. But as you kind of come here, you notice the ceiling is very tall and basically indicating that uh, something, something that uh, Gray has noticed before via the mushrooms, that something was here. But you guys walked further in and you hear a... <sighs> like a whoosh oh. of air basically passed by some of you. And I'm going to ask everyone to roll for initiative. Mm. And ah. basically what comes in. Should total of 21. 21. My 21. Total of 22. Total of 28. I got a total of a 25. So let's see what it would be. Appropriate for this one. 
Yeah, weird battle music. We'll go for it. What you see <laughs> in the ceiling are these like horrific winged creatures. Two oh. of them. Oh. 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 oh, 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 I hate these. Oh, the thrusty. Oh, why? Oh. oh, to describe these things, think of a like a oh god, what was it? Like a uh, manta like ray, a yeah, like ray a manta ray, a but it flies and has a very angry mouth. It looks like a, a manta ray with a um, oh my god, a moray eel or like a leech mouth. It's like if Batman was a furry. No! <laughs> For those of you who you know the bestiary, it? these are cloakers. I love cloakers. They're better when they're I didn't, I didn't know if they were still called cloakers, so. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> okay. The water elemental doesn't like these! The water elemental doesn't like cloakers. these! Good, good luck, luck you little son. <laughs> and so with that, combat has begun, starting off with Gray. Gray's going to very quickly turn around, uh, target the one literally right next to her. This is her hunted prey. She's going to whip herself around and she's going to throw her mambele. All right, let's see it. Ooh, oh, holy I crit with a total right. 34, holy baby. Shit. I'm going to roll for that damage. Damage. And that's 25. As an excellent hit on it, you hear this thing just screech at you. It just, it just tries to dodge your stuff, but you hit it, but you hit it perfectly. Heck yes. Uh, she's going to try and go one more time with that using her momentum. Please, 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 please. Uh, she misses. Oh, and that's my turn. All right, Talim, <laughs> these things are about 15 feet in the air. And you see them kind of flapping around, but all, and you're able to kind of reveal and detect them. Normally, they ambush people, uh, but for you, but for you guys, because of Gray's presence and kind of pre knowledge of these things, you guys were able to kind of like something's here. So you're able to catch these things kind of off guard. So Talim, it's your turn. So Talim will actually um. Will... Hold on, sorry, my brain reset. Um, <laughs> as he sees uh. Gray just absolutely gouge a chunk out of one with her Mambele. Uh, he will first off spin an action to uh, raise his shield uh, just in case any of them decide to like dive bomb yeah. at him or anybody else. And then I will uh, cast uh, needle darts at it. Aha! Yes. And okay, we target it. I have to find my my spell thing. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. And it is. Okay. Here's the button. All right. Now I press needle darts and I roll for attack, which is plus 13. It's two actions to cast. That is a total of a 31. Ooh, really good shot. And it is not a crit. Remember to target next time. Oh, uh, go yeah, ahead and roll me damage. Okay, dog. Um, and I will roll that damage, which is, uh, 64 piercing. And that is a total of Ooh. 17 damage. Good amount of damage here. You just pelt into its leathery wings. So riddle it with shrapnel. And that is the end of my turn. You don't want to, uh, no, you're good. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. That was, that was all three actions. Raise the shield and cast a spell, which was two actions. Now, the one that you all both shot basically swoops down over to you, Gray. Ah, shit. <laughs> is it the consequences of my actions. Is it an action to basically fly on down? And it'll basically come up to you, and it will try and envelop you. Oh, shit. It's, it's just a, a hug. <laughs> it's just a friendly little hug. I don't and, like this hug. <laughs> and it succeeds in doing it. Actually, let me just make sure. It, reflects, da, 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 da. it does. It does succeed. So, you're talking, you are now restrained. It basically comes up and just basically your entire ah. body, just its leathery oh. wing, just it just like binds no, no, into no, you. No, and you no, no, basically no, no, no. face first with its mouth. That's just like, and it just starts biting into you. 
Yeah, pretty much. I can't believe we were talking about it earlier and Gray just got glomped. No! Oh my god! And it will Where's now, my hug? And it will now, it will now <laughs> bite you. Or try to, but somehow you're able to like either kind of bite it back or something else with you. Like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's snapping back at it. <laughs> but I'm going to use a villain point. No! And re-roll it with an 18 oh. on the die for a 27. Damn it. Thanks, Chet. Hey, that's just Thanks, Chet. Remember, if you want to help me kill them, you give me more bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do nine points of damage to you, Gray. Ow. And then it will finally do another, another ah. draw attack. And it will fail on that one. Critically missing. Heart, it is your turn. Okay. <clears throat> Heart will point two fingers upward as uh, a tree grows uh, out from the ground. Uh, I cast Timber Sentinel, which allows me to cast a Protector Tree uh, within 30 feet. And uh, I will be... I think I can just place this right here. Did it, did it appear on the... No? No. Oh, that sucks. I don't um, see it. May, maybe yeah, Protector I... Tree is a whole different thing. There's not a thing for that. Okay, uh, that's weird. Uh, I, I should just be able to. That it doesn't exist like that. This guy down. That's weird. Yeah, that it would be a token thing. We just select an area and then we. Uh, yeah. Then we do so, that. So uh, my my selected area would be here. Okay, I'll do between this. between Talim and Gray, and uh, whenever a ally within that uh, that space. Uh, would uh, take physical damage uh the tree will attempt to block uh any amount of damage that it may uh, so that's for two actions and then as my third action i will attempt to uh shoot this guy with an elemental blast all right uh, go ahead and do it heck yeah also for never for time pretty much it, your thing's coming up now right Mm -hmm. For your time, is it an hour from now or is it now? Uh, hour and a half at latest. Okay. Hmm. I kill these. Yeah. With my funny rock. Right, I'll make sure. Yeah. Right, you fire a blast. Whoosh. I throw a rock at it. Yeah, you throw a rock. Yeah, baby. I throw Let's a rock. Let's do damage. Yeah, baby. I deal 17 damage. I throw awesome. a rock. Salty, I gotta ask the rocks that you that you shoot are they yeah. just like fish shaped rocks? <laughs> he picks up rocks and they do become a, f a flying fist when he do throw some. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. yeah. Oh so, my God. so you're thing. hitting the cloaker that's enveloping uh, Gray, right? Yeah. Awesome. So half of that damage will go to it, and half of that damage will hit Gray. Thanks. Yeah. I can't believe you just punched Gray in the head. That's bad. I'm sorry. Grandma, Grandma's taking a concussion. This whoop, bow, and basically just like Gray, you feel like a like someone just punched you in the back while you're getting eaten. <laughs> when you no. go adventuring with your grandson and he shatters your fucking hip <laughs> <laughs> while you're down in the caves, <laughs> should have retired. Beetle, it's your turn. Beetle's going to skitter back over. <laughs> skitter back. Oh, the game is paused. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. He's going to skitter back 10 feet over here. He's going to raise his shotgun, devise his stratagem. <laughs> and he's going to let out uh, a war cry of shoom. Shoom. Here in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and he sees that that is going to hit, so he's going to fire. And that is 16 points of damage to that cloaker. Pow! He's going, Good hit. He's going to reload, and that is going to be his turn. Shoop. I only Shoop. have seven arrows left! You see, this cloaker will come down to you. 
beetle just whoosh. If you damage it and it will try and envelop you. Come to you and whoosh will basically try to get you. Oh, that's a natural 20. <laughs> it's fucking got you, dude. Oh my God. It just envelops. You're just a ball of just this thing. Just <laughs> in the inside of it. And it'll begin to try and bite you. I'm gonna pay minus five because that the other thing was tech. Well, that's a 19 on the die for a 28. <laughs> and basically does nine points of damage to you. I'll try to attack you again. I did miss, but hmm, should I use a villain point? Hmm. Hmm, possibly. Sorry. <laughs> Sword. Why? It could be. Mm. I could I'm use gonna another cry. Be to cry. In Enigma, you would... A water elemental. I'm going to cry. Yes, I will. Cased in a cloaker. I still missed. <laughs> and with oh. that, that's the end of its turns. Now it is Gray's once more. You are currently restrained. Yes. So, basically, what stream means you are tied up and can barely move, or a creature has you pinned. You have the off guard and immobilized conditions. You can't use any attack or manipulate actions except to escape or force open your bonds. So, uh, Gray's gonna try and escape, uh, by okay. trying to claw at it. Let me put at, it like, on your actions to make it easy on you so you can do all the math for you. So, in your actions well, thing, you. you'll have the escape thing. So, Click on that. So basically what you can do, it means choose one creature, object, spell effect, hazard, da, da, da. Uh, you can attempt a check, which you either using your unarmed attack modifier against the DC of the effect, or you can use your acrobatics or athletics check instead of using your attack modifier. Uh, I'm going to use athletics. I'm going to use athletics. She's going to uh, try and squirm her way out of this by clawing at it at the same time. Awesome. Click uh, that athletics thing for me, please. Bah. Oh, I hit the wrong. I just hit it on my my book. Uh, oops, I'll do that over here now. Yeah, target the creature and do it. Oh, Let I me, have to target the creature and do it. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, I did all that for that. Let me delete those. Okay. Try again. My apologies. Yeah, target the one top right, not yourself. Top right there. Top right. Come here, you. I am totally here. You can do it. I believe I'm in so, you. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Come on. All right. You can do it. I'm, I'm doing do it. it. I'm doing you it. Do it. Total 17. You succeed. You Yay! get free or move the grab, mobilize, or restrain conditions imposed by your chosen target. You're free. Woo. Okay. So that is one action. Yeah. That's one action. Two? Okay. Uh, She's going to try it. Okay. Never mind. She's going to move over here. God. And she's going to chuck her mambele at it because no, bad, awful. <laughs> Dang. Good hit. And I crit <laughs> with a 33. Roll me crit I'm damage. Roll for, I'm rolling for that damage. That is a total of 29. It, this thing is super torn up. Its wings are sh just shredded, but it's still able to kind of flap about. She's just yelling at it. It yells back. <laughs> <laughs> Those two actions. So, 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 so. Yeah, I'll go for one more. Well, no, no, sorry. That was, th that was three. That was three. My bad. Yeah, I was going to say that was three. Yeah, I moved. All right, Talim. All right. So, as Gray manages to extricate herself from the cloaker, uh, Talim will actually step around the. Um, Step around the the tree center or whatever to bring himself within range of this thing because it hasn't had a chance to fly up and away yet yeah and he will actually lash out with his ass coil doing a spell strike uh with gouging claw and i've got it targeted so that means i need to do a melee strike versus it which is a plus 16 on the roll. That is a 30 in total. Great hit. Great hit. Um, I will roll my my melee damage, which is 2d6 plus 6. For a total of 17. 
You and, tell me oh, how okay. you kill it. Um. So as he lashes out with the spell strike, uh, as the links separate of his ass coil, uh, they essentially become more jagged and uh, brutal than they already are. And uh, he just basically just <laughs> like saws through it with a single swipe. Yeah, you, you shred this thing just like a blender, just brrr, and it just flops to the ground, just Whew. a bloody mess. And I will spend my last action to enter into a arcane cascade. Awesome. Did you spend a after you will after you will? Did you cast magic? Yeah, I casted a spell strike. That was my two actions was to use a spell strike. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, my bad. I think just melee. My bad. Okay, so with that, heart, it is your go. Beetle is yeah. enveloped by one of these things. It sure is. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I will <laughs> for one action. Uh, I will activate uh, the ability known as Ravel of Thorns. Uh, I will, along with that, use uh, the ability Safe Elements. Uh, safe Elements allows me to use all of my weird shit that would damage all of my friends. Um, uh, I can go, no, to these many individuals are not uh, affected by the things within my aura. Uh, and I do not wish to be mincing beetle up into mincemeat uh, as a bunch of small hands appear from the ground. Um, we are now in Ravel of Thorns mode. Uh, and then Hart gets this grim look on his eyes as he is going to wrestle this cloaker. No! no. I'm, I'm gonna pry Beetle out of him. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't No, no, I, I'm not gonna attack it. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna grapple it a little. Uh, here we go, Soren! I rolled a six for a total of 25. Oh, that excuse will. me. The grapple check. And then athletics, right? I mean, I'm, I trying to, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're trying to do in order. Are I'm you grappling trying to... it. Okay, I, so... I said that. I'm grappling it. Okay, yeah. So basically with the 25... Da, 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 you grab it as it nice. has beetle grabbed. Yeah. <laughs> trying to and, pry it apart. Yeah. And uh, may I pry beetle away from it by uh, if I invoke a... Hero point. Can I try to wrestle Beetle all over? You could have just done that with an athletics check. You didn't have to grapple it. You can do that? Yeah, you just tear <laughs> it out. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so instead uh, of grappling, you just want to do an athletics check to be like, uh -oh. Yes, I would love to. Yeah, you're basically pull beating Beetle the DC for that to uh, basically be like, I will help you out. Uh, Heck yeah. Especially how I do that. So go ahead and roll an athletics check for me. We'll do that one. Heck yeah. I rolled an 11 for a total of 30. You do excellent. Beetle is now long, no longer grabbed. Yeah, Basically try to rip it out like, don't touch my friend. Oh, and, thank you. Thank you. And then as my third action, I will then attempt to grapple this thing. Awesome. Yeah, go ahead and target it and click the athletics thing on the grapple thing there. Heck yeah, dude. And it has at, uh, I don't know know if this automatically will apply it but i hope it will yes yeah, so you have nice. succeeded the target is now grabbed that's right baby as heart just jumps up and grabs onto the two spikes on its head and then it pulls it under under his arm in like an arm headlock but on a thing that's just head <laughs> yeah. it screeches at you and tries to bite at you with its little mouth like <laughs> What's your final action? That's my final action. To remove its one action, to grapple its a second yeah. action. You have one action. Yeah, and the also. ground is covered in oh, right, right. You did thing. My bad. hands and teeth. Yeah. I apologize. I am. I, am, I was incorrect. It's all good. Beetle. Device and strategy. I'm going to fire. I'm going to fire. 
Oh, I know it's gonna hit. Do you, Do you think, think it's, it's going, going to hit? <laughs> I, I, can you read my thoughts? Get out of my head! No, wait, actually, I can read get everything. Out. What? I know everything you've been thinking of. Huh? Also, that's really fucked up what you think of all the time. No, it's not! It's horrible. I mean, what's wrong I'm with in, you? I'm in combat! Stop distracting me! So you better hit it. It's bound to, you know, I mean, if you're shooting it with your friends, Barry, aren't you actually, actually going to try to shoot them too? That's eight points of damage to the, the guy. Well, you basically go BLAM and somehow not hit heart. All right. As I, you forgot to target it. What? No, I'm targeting <laughs> it right here. You fucked up. I have, what? But I have the little arrows on it. You fucked up. Regardless, you did eight oh. points of damage. <laughs> I, I was going to ask, did heart just put a cloaker in a full Nelson? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You have one action left, I see you on the reload. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, I want to try. Okay, that's 15 feet. That's where the tree. Yeah, you're going through it. You, you're 20, fine. 25. Okay. I just want to. I'll end my turn here because I want to patch up gray on my next awesome. my next go. Oh. <laughs> this cloaker here, you have it grappled. It's like, nah, nah, and it tries its best to escape. In which I have to figure out. Oh god, they didn't really give it much of a athletics thing, did it? No. I'll just use a strength <laughs> bit. Come on, bitch boy. <laughs> Come on, bitch boy. Get out of here. It fails. Pancake. It fails, but it can still try to bite you. You sure can. They'll just have to take a, a good old penalty for it, so it's going to try. Even even though I just got on you about targeting. It I didn't does. Fucking do it it myself. sure does. Uh, if I remember for grapple that let's see if, it, if it's grabbed held in place with things if you attempt to manipulate action while ground you must succeed a dc5 flat check there it is so yeah, let's but see but it's not it's not a manipulate to attack oh yeah that's right isn't it regardless yeah, it would succeed good. and so yep. it will bite the shit out of you like Mah! okay i bite max damage <laughs> for 17 to heart Oof. Oof. And he'll continue to try and bite into you, hoping that you would let go. Bites at you again with a four. It misses. I'm going to try to get you one last time. Roll an 18 on the die and just didn't get there. That's right, baby. Gray, it is now your turn. So just as Beetle is like skittering around the corner, cause uh, he's just like, I got a patch of grandma. She's already like <laughs> moving. <laughs> she's already moving. <laughs> and uh, she, she's already like on the way to go slice up the other cloaker. She's yeah. just like, this is now her targeted prey and she's gonna throw her mom Bailey at it. <laughs> eh. It hits with a total of 28. I'm going to roll for that damage. Excellent job. Oopa. There's a total of 13. 30 points of damage. Just that's cut it. through it. Screams at heart's ear. <laughs> and that's it. Kaleem. You're muted, Ken. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so I've got my arcane cascade up. Uh, as heart grapples this thing, <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, Kiwi! That bird is screaming. <laughs> he said, "I didn't want to go to my vacation home." Um, Talim will actually move. Um, right here, and uh, have my arcane cascade up. That's my first action. I will actually take. In action to uh, attack this thing normally uh, with a uh, plus 16 on said roll. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Uh, nice. Just a crit. All right. And uh, you want to yeah. do like a tag team wrestle move? <laughs> sure. Let's see what the damage is first. Heck yeah. Um, yeah. Click that critical. So wait, do I have to, does it just automatically do the critical or? Oh, no, Take wait, the no, critical I didn't, button. Uh, okay, yeah, critical button. Yeah, that's my bad. Um, but yeah, we do that. 
and we roll that damage, and that is a total of uh, 26 damage. Good oh, lord. Bunker. You are messing this thing up. <clears throat> and then uh, Kaleem will actually, uh, using the momentum of that strike, uh, whip the ass coil around uh, to do a second strike on it to hopefully injure it more. Heck yeah. And that is a plus 11. That is also a hit. And then we roll damage. That's a total of a 2d6 plus 8. And uh, that's another 16 damage. No, I'm just imagining Talim just like doing a blade dance as the fucking ass coil just like twirls around the tornado. You know, yeah. like the Castlevania, like uh, Victor or whatever, <gasps> yes. where he's like doing the stuff with the flail. Yeah, just like, <laughs> just this thing's just getting blended right now and it's barely holding on. I assume that's the end of your turn and now it's that hearts. That is the end of my turn, which leads yeah. into hearts. I'm going to elemental blast this guy for uh, two actions. Uh, because when I do it for two actions, that applies my constitution and my strength to the damage. It screams uh, at you. <laughs> Scream. Uh, I will do a rock-based one as Hart will just try to swing this guy. Ooh. Yes, baby. <laughs> uh, Let's okay. go! <laughs> Let's go, baby! That's 26 damage. Uh... As Hart it explodes. Lift, uh, Hart lifts up the cloaker, and as he attempts to do a power bomb on this cloaker, he goes, Shut up! And uh, a rock will blow up from the ground at the same time as Hart power bombs it into it. Just Dragon Ball Z annihilated. Hart C. Oh. No more. Art holds up a high five. Oh. Okay. Talib will attempt to high five. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. I got I gotta do this. You gotta roll if the, you can. Yeah, I gotta I gotta roll the The hand passes through. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oh. heart that matters. Come here, Gray. Come here, Gray. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I got Pat, caught up Pat in the moment. Up. Take that healing, click apply healing. Take it, take it. I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking it. Take it, take it all, I'm take tasty. it all. It's all for that's you. That's so, oh my God, that's so it's much healing. You. It's all for you. It's all for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all for you. It's all for you. That wasn't so bad. Ooh. I think it would have been worse if we didn't know about it ahead of time. Ooh. You said it, Shoom. Shum has there? a hand hold uh, held up. Oh, what's up, Shum? Oh no, that was a twenty on the acrobatics check. No, they, they, they were able to high five. Hey! <laughs> I forgot. Shum. I just need to get a twenty. Awesome. He reaches his hand up to both of you and like Shum. That's right, Shum. He went to high five. Grail, go high five, Shum. High five, Shum. Shum high fives all of you, and it looks Hello! at its hands. And it looks at his hands after. It's like Shum. <laughs> Beetle will hold up a pointer finger and gently tap the tiny Shum on top of his head, like a little high five. Shum. <laughs> you know that's the mastermind. Yeah, my, my life for yeah. Shum. Yeah. Uh, I saw a dock and a, and a boat back that way, which is a good sign. We should check it out, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go. Shoom, you coming? Shoom. Okay. <laughs> I sure hope those uh, fish that shoot aren't right here. That's going to suck. <sighs> a squad of fish come out with AKs. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, Shum was the mastermind the entire time. He wasn't saying Shum, he was saying shoot. <laughs> Just give him the orders. He finally they have finally understood. <laughs> what should we call the water elemental that we have now? Gerald. I was thinking Savorm. I fucking no, that sounds hate those too cool. names. Oh. <laughs> Maybe okay. he has a name. 
Uh, what's your name? Do you have I a name? I don't have a name. I'm too good for them. Oh, but how should we acknowledge you? Just the water elemental every time? Hmm. What if we shorten it to Ellie? Well, I guess you're... First off, no. Second off, I guess wow. you solids usually have a constant state, so you usually have names. Maybe hmm. we shouldn't talk about it if... If they want to experience things, perhaps in secret, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this. Tell the big maybe solid no. Um, um, he, he doesn't like what you're saying. He Tell says the big no. solid I want a name. He says he wants a name. I want to experience the solid experience. He says he wants to experience the solid experience. Now say you're well. stupid. I'm stupid. Now give your big doo doo head and the big one smells bad. Uh, I, and, and you're a big dude, and you smell bad. Whoa, Beetle, you didn't have to say that. I didn't say it. What well, you did. No, the I elemental didn't. called Why you that, you I believe. Why your friends? I don't I like my friends. that Beetle is just becoming one of those ants that are just, like, possessed by a fungus. <laughs> Beetle, you shouldn't say those things. That's I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna call it Bob, it. and I'm just gonna walk over to the fucking dock. Okay, your name is Bob. No. What's your name then? I said, find a nice name for me. Something that, something that extinguishes my beauty. Something that compliments how gorgeous I am. Usually, your mom names you. Do you have a mom? No. Where'd you come from? The water. I Beetle just like stares it. forward. <laughs> it's just gonna be Beetle. <laughs> the water says, and like it's just gonna look like Beetle's making me ill. I mean, <laughs> since Beetle's it spoke crazy. like it, since it spoke like it did, maybe like put a title to it so everyone knows that it's important. Uh, what about? Like the Vapor Lord or something. Uh, oh, Vapor Lord. Vapor. Yeah. <laughs> cringe. Vape. Vape. <laughs> I can't uh, he's you just cringing. Tried to name a water, water elemental Vapor Wave. Well, maybe maybe it should figure out a better name than stooping him. Hard walks over <laughs> here and stops sticking on the, on the boat. Why is your big solid so it's so sensitive? Uh, because you made me call him a doo doo head. Oh, you did. You didn't have to listen to me. What? I'm trying to get on with you. That's gross. What? I didn't think we had to have that talk this soon, but I, we need to go. Is no, I'm not trying okay? to get on you. Get on with you. Get on the fucking woodsaw. <laughs> Is the boat okay, Soren? The boat looks perfectly fine. Nice. Heart sets in the boat and then sinks because he's too heavy. Yeah, you all die. <laughs> no! <laughs> now we're going to cross. But uh, yeah. you, uh, after defeating the cloakers, you find the cavern will open up and you see there's a huge, like a larger ah. body of water and there are sort of like these ramshackle, like random planks and pieces of wood all kind of strewn together to make platforms that lead up to a... Uh, sort of like a camera, just like a door that's kind of like embedded in some of the rock or so. Like someone found a cave and kind of furbished it up with whatever wood that they could find further uh, to the east. To the north, you see that the water will go up and there's another floating boat up there, just kind of adrift all by itself. And of course, you see the boat before mentioned right by you. I just want to compensate for time. Do we, we can go on a little bit longer if we're fine before the hour is done. If you guys want to or not. Maybe we can at least go across. Yeah, let's go on the boat. Yeah, whatever Min is able to do. Yeah. Let's I'm down. Let's go on the boat. Please, okay. please, sport guys. Please uh, be sure, you, you, can all, you all hop onto the boat. You can fit, fit everybody, you see. It's a bit of a different scale because of just how models and stuff are. But uh, mm. you know you can fit everybody on it. It'll be a tight squeeze. It's okay. Talim floats and Beetle can sit on Hart's lap. And I think I can, can also float. 
I think I'm very buoyant now. <laughs> does the, does the boat like tip towards where heart sits? Oh, it's all messed up. Like if you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if you rock this thing is slightly, it will fill water. Yeah, 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 with all of you on it. So if you want to be yeah. safe, you can do two at a time. Yeah. Hart's paddling. He's been on all the right. boat before. So Hart and Greg go across first. Hart. Okay. Just to save time here, we will Can't go. Transfer you over to the other side of the rafter, and you have the boat on your side. You said two across at first. I'll beetle you on the other side. <laughs> now you have the boat on your <laughs> side. Oh, there are two beetle tokens for me. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. You can go back for him. Uh, I'll stay here. All right. I can do that. Gray will paddle the boat back across. So, Gray, as you begin to paddle across... You all start. Uh -oh. Roll me a perception <laughs> check there, huh? Oh, fuck. Heart. Yeah? Oh, perception me? Check. Yeah, heart. Oh, I, I thought you meant men. I cool. No. I rolled a three for a total of 14. I am also clutching. Uh, Hart is clutching his hands because he asked to be left alone in the dark. He's a very brave boy at the moment. Oh. Hart, you are, you're not seeing anything, but you're hearing just water being disturbed. The water mm -hmm. is rushing. There is a current, but yeah. you hear a somewhere behind you and as if something kind of moved in behind you. You're all alone, watching Gray leave to the other side. Yep, he's focusing. Oh, now, see, there is oh, oh, no Grace light, Lantern. technically. No. Oh. <laughs> we did that for the audience. And you're all alone. You see, you could slightly see it from some of the remnants of the light off into the bank. You see a water creature kind of like oh, bob up in front of you. Oh, it's the fish with guns. <laughs> it'll, it'll swim around. And it's just looking at you, Hart. If there's almost total darkness and he just barely sees this thing. Uh, Hart is standing there, stern, almost like a statue. And he's just mumbling to himself, You're a very brave boy. You're a very brave boy. <laughs> Everyone will be proud of you. You're a very brave boy. One moment. I need everyone to roll initiative for me, if you don't mind. Fuck! Yeah! That's fair. I love initiative from the middle of boat. Dude, I rolled a 20 for a total of 31. Holy crap. I rolled a 22. Total of 29. I love being ground. Talim. Sorry, I had to, I had to open up my character sheet again. Um, why is, there we go. I rolled a total of a 25. It goes first. Ah. All right, as you're standing there, you hear someone just a whoosh, like something just, whoosh, just shoots right out of the water oh. and it will shoot at you. It will hit you. You hear just something in the in, in your back heart, like just everything, like pretty much everything just starts collapsing around you. The darkness, the loneliness of just going like, maybe they'll just leave you here. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe this was their way to finally just turn back around. Maybe they found another passage. Maybe they, you know. Yeah, maybe they'll leave me alone if I look like a statue. Maybe they think I'm a statue. But then, of course, this thing basically hits you into the back, dealing nine points of damage to you, but also pushing you into oh. the water. No! Oh, no! You are pushed up five feet 
and you fall into the yeah. water. I will allow you to grab an edge because you are near an edge. Heck yeah, dude. I will attempt to grab an edge. Let's mm. go, baby. Uh, yes, here we go. Grab an edge action. It is a reaction. If you want to use that reaction, that's your call. Uh, that is my reaction that I will use. Of course I will. Uh, let me see here. Doo -doo. Uh, and there, grab an action. Grab a lot. Uh, here we go. Come on. G for grab an... What do you mean it's not here? Uh, anyway, uh, let's just use it then. Grab an edge. And let's... You can use acrobatics checks or a reflex check. I don't think this one's going to have a thing for you. So oh, just roll oh, either so one of those. It, it it won't uh, appear in the chat in that case. Uh, I will use an... Uh, no, it's a reflex save, I think. Yeah, acrobatics yeah. or a reflex save. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll do reflex saves. I'm bad at both, by the way. <laughs> but I rolled 27. Is that good enough? That's an excellent question. Let's see here. Da-da-da-da-da-da. This is actually something I don't really know off the top of my head. It's like, I don't know what the DC it, it's would a be. It's a climbing DC. Um, Let's see. It depends on what it is. When you fall past an edge and head... Oh, that's right. You can try to grab, potentially stopping your fall. You must succeed at your choice. of It's usually the climb DC. Grab an edge of the handhold. You can climb up the thing. So climb DC is probably going to be 15. I'm going to say it's 15. I'm going to say you're able to grab onto the ledge just fine. So critically succeed... Yeah. You would do 10 over. You grab the edge or handhold, whether or not you have a hand free, typically by using a suitable hand item to catch. Da, da, da. You yeah. still take damage from the distance fallen so far, but you treat the fall as though you are 30 feet shorter. So basically, um, you grab the ledge. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you basically grab, grab the ledge. So pretty much you're still kind of like hanging on the side now. This thing. So after that, it will then move over. This way, just swimming over, like bloop, bloop. It will look at you, heart, and you can only hear it at this point. Oh dear, my thing's all messed up. Eh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> oh no. Here, we'll do that. Clicky That's keys, fine. Clicky keys. It's all good. I was like, I got it. It'll try to get you again. It goes. Oh, it missed, but I have a villain point. Damn you, villain point! And it missed! That's right, baby. Have no more villain points. It's not gone. <laughs> it tries to spit at you again. It does not get you. This weird sea creature tried to get you, and it no longer. It's no longer its turn. Heart, it's your turn. You are hanging off a ledge. Yeah, I'll climb. I want to climb. I want to climb up. I right, spin an action go whoop. Yep. I want to be back up there. Eh. Uh, and then Hart will put his hands to his mouth and uh, shout out to everyone that I found the fish. <laughs> what? No. What do you? Uh, I warned you kind of all like about the fish. fish. You just, just went, went in there anyway. Uh, well, I didn't know they were down here. You could have said something. I Can literally you... did. Okay, listen, Silver Mist. Do you like the name Silver Mist? No, no fuck, fuck you. you. Do you like, okay, do you, can you do something about the fish? <sighs> I, I could. could. What's, What's in, in it for me? me? Um, you you get your you know your little flesh tour, your solid tour elongated. It doesn't stop here. Oh, I'm, I'm sure, sure you can handle, handle the fish by yourself. It's, it's just, just a fish. fish. Um, okay. What if more fish show up? Then you kill them. Oh, is my. your friend gonna help or not? He's being difficult. <sighs> Green just quietly sobs. <laughs> well, what, what do, do I, I get to help you? <laughs> you ever had vodka? <laughs> no. I'm gonna let you experience the time of your life. Mm. If you help me 
and help my friends hmm. with these nasty fishes. You're, I, it's gonna be nothing like you have ever felt. It's something that only affects solids, especially me. I'm a lightweight. Hmm. You're gonna love it. I accept. Jump, Jump in, in the water. water. Ah! <laughs> may I? You may. Uh, is it your turn? Or on my turn? Yeah, on my turn. Yeah, on your turn, you can. Yeah. But right now it's heart's turn. Sorry, sorry, yes. uh, salty. Yeah, it's your turn. Uh, no, no. Uh, Absolutely, I fucking love role playing and funny shit like that. So, uh, Hart knows that it's here, right? But he doesn't know exactly where. They here you'll take is. you'll take a penalty. Exactly. Exactly. So therefore, I will instead use uh, hail of splinters, uh, as uh, that is a much more fun way of doing this. So I will uh, use a thirty feet cone. Uh, and uh, how did you turn this cone? There we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, so heart will affect this area. Okay. Uh, uh, with, uh, yeah, a DC 25 basic reflex save uh, from the funny thingy. Okay. As heart, uh, uh, his entire body is gets covered in spines and they just shoot out from him. It fails. Whoa. Heck yeah, dude. It takes 4d4 piercing and 4d4 bleeding. Ooh. Oh! Whole bunch of just, brrr, just goes right into it. You see it just thrashes about in the water. A bunch of splashes happen. And my happen. aura is gone, so I can no longer sense anything around me. Haha, <laughs> I'm even more in the darkness. <laughs> With that, Gray, it is your turn. You're paddling back. She <laughs> was paddling back uh, <laughs> until she heard... um. Part ha heart yelling and the sound of sudden acupuncture in the distance. Um, oh yeah, like it just scatters across the water surface. Yeah. Uh, so she's gonna pull out her torch and she's going to uh, hold it in her hand here and she's gonna try and turn on the light source here. Huh? You oh, do, look do you at have that. a torch? Yeah, I had a torch okay. in my inventory. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's one action to take out the torch. She's and then gonna get a, another action to interact with it to turn it on. Yes. Would she be able to see the fish from here? Like, would she yes, be able to see, you it, see it in the water? It, you see it near the surface now, and it's thrashing with all the thorns it just got pelted okay. with. Okay. So she can see it. So now it is now her targeted prey, and that is it. That is the end of my turn. Awesome. Okay. But everyone has light now. Water <laughs> says he's gonna help. Salim. I mean, you're muted, Cab. Cabathan. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, while Hart is getting, you know, accosted uh, by a fish, and um, Gray is in the middle, and Beetle is yelling at the sentient puddle inside of him, um, <laughs> Talim decides to, I guess, go for a walk. <laughs> uh, and I will actually. Uh, how how far down is is the bottom of this? Uh, about about ten feet of the cliff face. Okay. So he will actually, you know, uh, jump in the water and uh, he jumps in the cack. Yeah, he, he actually jumps in the water. I guess sinks to the bottom. I, I thought we determined you, that like Tilly doesn't float on top or you. you since you're a sure. ghost and stuff, I think you technically float because you're like flying over the surface in a way. He has a hover speed. Yeah. yeah. I, I do have a, I, like, my only movement is a fly speed, so I wasn't yeah. sure if that was what you yeah. wanted to do. Yeah, you, okay. you go over the water just fine. Yeah. <laughs> so to Limo actually just, he just walks past. <laughs> Grace like, oh, hey, and, hey, to Lim. Yeah, and he, and he actually just lash out with his ass coil at said, you know, fish. And, uh, yeah. Blub. He's just like, <laughs> blub, blub. Not this again. Not the, blub. Not the glub, glub. <laughs> blub, <laughs> blub, 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 blub. Oh, because I popped out my character sheet doesn't want to work. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, I just tack it with a, uh, Plus 16 to hit. That's a total of 27. Blub. 
I will go <laughs> ahead and roll my damage. Which hey, is so a... how smart are these fishes? Oh no, recall knowledge would do it. Oh damn. Yeah. Sixty that points of damage. Bam! Yep, and that was um it was that five fifty. Yeah, that was my two actions because I moved two actions and then I attacked. And that's it. It's the end of my turn. Once you smack it in with your aspect coding. Ow! Oh, oh this is, you don't have to hit me so hard. Oh and you notice it can talk. What? How get you that you invading ruffians? It splashes at you. We're just trying to get across the Hello? Beetle. Beetle jumps into the water. You jump into the water and you notice that the water elemental begins to give you or kind of like messes with your vocal cords a little bit. Uh, you can now speak Fay. Oh. Oh. Amazing. Does Beetle swim like an alligator? Yes, he does. <laughs> okay, so that's 10 feet of movement. Uh... 15, 20, 25. Hey! What the face sounds come out of his fucking mouth hole? <laughs> you die where you stand, you invading ruffian. You, you horrible looking creature. You abomination to life. All right. All right. Well, you don't gotta go that far, okay? That's just rude. I mean, have you seen your 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 underbite, huh? It's disgusting. It, you oh, need to, you brush... think it's, I'm going to fucking eviscerate your corpse. You, and... you should brush your teeth. I'm I going to go... shit out your bone marrow. Oh, oh, okay. That's a little fucked up. So we're we're not even here to mess with you. We're not even here to get your territory or whatever. We're literally trying to leave. I say like, leave through all waters. This is our home. You're yeah, tainting but there's a, with your presence. There's a hatch up there to leave. We're le we're tr we didn't even have to get inside your water if you'd left us alone. We would have just gone without touching it. This is like an argument in a fucking Denny's parking lot. Just, <laughs> <laughs> you no know, way to bring, bring, de-escalate the situation. It's fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're inconveniencing two me. People, two people arguing. Grandma's there. <laughs> Okay, so it's one action to kind of come into this, but I'm going to give you two actions yeah. and one action. How are you going to convince this fish to either calm down or do something else? Or are you going to demoralize it? <laughs> well, he called it ugly, and then he said it's kind of stupid. He, he called it ugly, and he called it stupid because they never would have touched the water if the fish hadn't knocked them into the water. They're just trying to go onto the boards and leave. They're just you can also through. recall knowledge to see if you can somehow learn about what this creature is, and maybe, maybe socially, what can you do to kind of gain an advantage? That's yeah, maybe, a good maybe, idea. Maybe it loves ugly shit. Maybe, maybe, ask your, uh, maybe, maybe ask your uh, your new friend about this fish. So you can give I me would... either, uh, you can ask Talim for some help. I'll allow you to ask Talim for some help to identify mm -hmm. it or uh, do a nature check yourself with a. Okay. Or Arcana. What? Is Arcana or nature would be for this? Okay. What type of fish is this? And I, he's going to ask for help because his Arcana and nature are both ass. Who would like to help Beetle? Uh, I can roll with nature. It's an 18 for a total of 23. Yeah, so My one nature. person can aid for that. Oh, so this okay. for an Arcana check. Who wants to aid with the Arcana check? Uh, I can aid with the Arcana check. Awesome. Go ahead and roll the, an Arcana. I have to find my... There we go. The plus 13. That is a 16. Fuck. So... <laughs> You don't get too much help for Talim, considering the fact Talim is trying to eviscerate it right now. But uh, Beetle, within our contract, you actually rolled pretty well. Uh, you probably read like a storybook from from your mom or your billions of other sisters. The library. Uh, yeah, the, the grand library that they take care of. And you probably you probably heard like a tale or something of a Grodair. These are fey like fish or so. Would one of the things that you'll know that it's evident for heart that it can fire like a water jet projectile which will push people 
and it's terrible when you're on multiple platforms like this. But, uh, you know, these things are very regal in their way, thinking that they are like pretty much upper class fish, basically. <laughs> so applying to its sense of uh, majesty would probably be working here. Not treating them exactly like kings, but more like high, like high class. Oh, they're he's, nobles. He's already insulted it. Like they think they're they think they they think themselves of nobles and knights of the water, really, and protecting certain areas. And they see in the knowing with the situation that's happened here recently, in the context you have, this seems to be new ground. It's fucking called a grow there. What's, what's it's a gr it's a grow. I cool. No, no, I'll leave it to that. Wait, what's a grow? Wait, yeah, what? nothing. Go for what it. What is that? What does that mean? No, go for it. The weird Swedish oh. thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so now that he's identified it, he knows he's already fucked. So uh, he's gonna keep insulting it. <laughs> uh, you already fucked it up. Hey, why, why are, are you doing, doing that? that? What? What? I can't flatter it. I've already called his jaw. You didn't even try. What? Are, Okay, fine. All right. So look, okay. Hey, uh, grow dare, beautiful, majestic grow dare. I'm so sorry. It's dark in here. I only just realized what you are. Pump. You see it kind of like <laughs> swish swash in the water, kind of like turning its head a bit too. <laughs> Please excuse us. We will get our gross, grimy bodies out of your water. We are just trying to cross across the boards, which are above your land, above your kingdom. We're not trying to touch your water, and we're trying to leave. You'll never see us again if you let us go by. Hmm. Roll me diplomacy. Or deception if you're lying to it. He's not lying. He wants out. Gro why I think it's funny is because Froggy is the one interacting with it. Grow there sounds like a very American way to say frogs <laughs> in Swedish. Oh! So <laughs> you, you, you know about that whole not lying bit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, we do have we, do, I, we do have to come back. Okay, so can you <laughs> use that diplomacy as a deception instead? Oh no, wait, but I no. get a different additive. Do you, do you want you me can to roll? You can roll, roll, roll deception for me. Okay, you're right. I forgot that we have to come back through. <laughs> okay. Sorry. It is higher. It is. It is higher. I feel bad. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, I forgot. Uh, that is a total of twenty nine. He splash splashes again. Hmm. 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 Please. Can you just let us go above your water? We're not going to touch your water. But you're touching it now. Hmm. I had to get in to talk to you. You were attacking us. Hmm. Your problem, not mine. Switch, switch, switch. <laughs> he'll, he'll look at you and he ponders a little bit. And he's like, a toll. Man, a toll. Huh? Switch, switch, switch. A toll? What do you want? Food. He wants food. food I want he something says. delectable. Switch, switch, switch. Something <laughs> magnificent. Switch, switch, switch. Oh my god. He switches from fate to comedy. He's like, the fish is saying it'll let us cross above the water without touching his water if we give him some food. He's mad that we're touching his water. I have a couple of rations left he wants something amazing considering he is a fish uh, I, it mm. probably won't take a lot to blow his mind <laughs> you think green, i don't have a delectable palate something of high speaking, quality he's, swish, speaking swish, swish, common. Swish. he's speaking common not fake he's speaking common fish can't <laughs> understand him <laughs> uh, <laughs> green's gonna dig around in her pack for her rations uh Mark? she's She's got like Heart. one left. Is it possible to like prestigitate it to make it taste like a, I don't know, a, a fine three course steak meal? Hart pulls out the flask. I'd allow it. Hart, Hart pulls out the flask and hold, and points at it and goes, um, you could tell him that this is a delicacy from, from like the top layer. Is that going to kill it? I don't know. Well, <laughs> hold on, because if we kill it, then... There are more here. We're gonna have to bring a severely injured guy on this boat across the dock, right? So we might want to keep it peaceful. Maybe don't shred him if if we can avoid it. You have a point. 
Grey's got like some, you know, her rations in her hand. Yeah, severely injured man that I didn't forget about. Blushes. <laughs> hey, uh, heart, heart leans down over the railing and just holds Sorry. out the hand. And in his hand, a a, a, a papaya forms. Oh shit! <gasps> papaya. The pa -pa -pa. <laughs> Kalima is just like there, and he's just like, looking just like, I was like, oh, we're, we're gonna go shade with the fish. And Kalima's like, it's a fish. <laughs> it's a fish. I, it opens its mouth uh, and go, uh. Yeah, Beetle switches yeah. to Faye, and he's like, there we go. There's our offering. I'll get out of your water now. It's a fresh produce. Oh. I, I will heal him from all the damage I did to him. Oh, Grace gonna, like, will. Gray's gonna like scramble for like Beetle to come get on the boat. Yeah, get it. Can I move on to the boat? Yeah, yeah, you're good. It will, it will eat it and go. Um, um, um. Hmm. This, I've never tasted something like this before. Um, um, um. <laughs> the toll has been paid. Whenever you wish to cross all waters, I want that. You got it. Uh, more where that came from. Absolutely. Thumbs up. Thank oh, you. My friends would also like one, or I would say the royal fish god. A uh, heart, he says, when we want to cr. Oh! oh! Uh, heart! Heart, he says his friends also want one. A bunch of them come up near the docks, <laughs> going bop, 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 bop. Good Do enough for, good enough for Soren. Do you I want can to keep make a torch on you and and feed those guys, and we can run They're back and leading. we can get <laughs> Garavan. I can make one papaya per individual in the world for every ten minutes. Okay, so what does Hart think about staying here and feeding the fish? Yeah, uh, uh, oh, 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 yeah. Hart, Hart <laughs> just like makes a wicker basket for himself and just makes papayas and walks around yeah. to give them papayas. <laughs> Okay, we'll be back real quick. We're just gonna go grab our buddy and then we'll complete the journey across your water. We'll make sure we don't touch it. Please enjoy. Okay, no, I'm not alone anymore. It's fine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I cast light on heart. Yeah, make sure. This <laughs> so not in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> All right, do we wanna go? We wanna go get Garvin? Yeah, let's go get him. <laughs> I did not think you were gonna let me diplomacy my way with that fish. I was like, we're gonna have to kill 30 fish. <laughs> so Hart uh stands there feeding all of the fish. Yeah. All, of, all of the fish from the fame. Yeah. You see that uh that Shun was standing there at the talk going, Shoo. You know, helps you guys through. Uh you guys go back, rescue your new companion. And uh, bring them all the way back to the hut further on. But we'll see what's inside of the hut and further on the adventure next time on Rockets. Ah, Rockets. Ah! Ah! Thank you. Ah! This, this episode was so fucking good. Ah! I was expecting us to be drowning in combat and dying and that we made friends with everything. And I just feel so good. Hey, <laughs> we were actually good at combat this time around. We were good. <gasps> we did it! We maxed out our friendship stats! What the fuck are we gonna name our new DM NPC? <laughs> Chad, why don't you help decide that in the, in the narrative declaration Discord? You can do yeah. exclamation point uh, yeah. Discord in the Twitch chat at least, or in the dis YouTube description if you're watching on YouTube. Head over to the Discord in the Rockings chat. Maybe think of some names for them. <laughs> Yeah. All like I'm that. saying is, I don't know, because it ain't my problem. Good luck, Name him Robin. vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Name him vodka. <laughs> I so. ate this water elemental for nothing. <laughs> I thought it was going to help us get through it. It nothing. gave you a language. It did. That's true. It did give me faith. And now we have a fun snarky commentator. I have yeah, two good. languages my Talim still needs to learn. By the way, everyone at home, this is why playing clerics and playing psychics and all of that shit is cool. Because if your game master wants to, they can have a commentator in your head. <laughs>
<laughs> so with that, thank you everybody for watching. Hope everybody on all chats enjoyed themselves today. And also thank you to everybody or all the players for playing. And like thank inter you. introduce everyone. Minerva, who are you? Where can people find you? Hello, I am Minerva, aka Party Demon S. I am on that name under all social medias. I am a streamer, an artist, and an overall problem. <laughs> Next up, we have our ethereal host, Cabal. Hello, my name is Cabal. I focus mainly on horror content. You can find me over on YouTube and Twitter. Uh, just look for Cabal. And uh, I am playing Talim Shabura, the seventh level sparkling targe ghost mages. And of course, we have our resident little guy, Froggy Lock. Hi, I'm Froggy Lock. Uh, I am not high right now or on drugs. I saw some people were confused about that. Nope, this is just me. I'm a professional artist and a live duty rigger and a variety streamer here on Twitch. And I, I play <laughs> Bidi Beelzebub. Thanks for coming. Thanks for. Thank you. Also, a resident I'm creature. Sorry. I'm please, sorry. I can't please people. pick a good name for our water elemental. <laughs> is she on drugs? No, she's just like that. This you is would just know. how I am. You would know if she wasn't drugs. <laughs> you would know. Yeah, it's true. yeah. We just put a green spatula in front of her, and she'd laugh for three hours. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Stop. You know what? That's a real story. Oh, hey, story. salty! Introduce yourself. <laughs> the one who Hi. brought the spatula, Salty John. It's me, <laughs> Schnotty Schnob. I uh, I play Hart. He's a seventh level kineticist, uh, which allows him to manipulate the powers of wood, earth, and heart. Uh, and uh, I draw funny. You can find me over at Narrative Declaration and at the previous mentioned Cabal YouTube channel. And of course, I have been summoned Captain Planet. <laughs> yeah, didn't you notice? Yeah, Captain Zoran. Yeah, he he's fire all, also. So yeah, that's I right. I win. That's right. Bear, bear. And of course, I have been your host and game master for this evening. I am Zoran the Bear. You can find everything under that label. And thank you all so much for watching this episode of Broncoons. We'll see you next week with another exciting episode. Of course, you can always help keep the shows alive at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration or by subbing either on YouTube as a member or on Twitch or just letting people know that we exist, either on your favorite community posts, forums, Discord, etc. Letting people know that we exist really does help us out. So thank you all so very much. And we will see you next time. So long. Farewell and bye bye. bye, -bye. See you later. Bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Next week too. That's right. That's oh. my name.